Welcome everyone, we're back. It's that time. It is that day. You know what it is. It's Super Millions 2023. This is episode 14. We got my man Mike Jozoff, fresh off a deep run, final table, 25K at the World Series of Poker. So Mike, how are you? Doing good. Yeah, I've been running really, really good pretty much since the last time I did this show, uh, like we were talking about. It seems to be good luck to come back on here. So um, yeah, I had a big month and um, looking forward to the action today. I love it. Well, listen, I saw it. I saw you were deep in it. I saw it was, uh, it was, I know you want a little more 1.8 million up top, still a six figure score. And we do appreciate you coming on. And of course, some of the biggest names in the game, it's just what it is. There's people all over the world. World Series is going on, but also people are still playing online poker, big prize pool, big names, and all of the, the good stuff. So we're going to take a look here at who is at this final table, what we're playing for, and of course, the Super Million Super Ranking leaderboard there is the current standings on the season. Raw still holding it down with the most earnings after that huge score from a while back, but a little bit of movement there. You see some people up and down, I guess mostly down spots as new people come in as we will then again play to a winner. As always, $10,000 buy-in Sunday tournament. Come in here for the final. They pause on Sundays. Big purse, $1.65 million up for grabs in that person as you see the payouts here of the final nine remaining gets juicy six up about six figures and uh this is you know 335 on top lots to play for no deals and uh, some familiar faces sure you battle with some of these guys regular as well and we will take a look at that there it is 165 total entrance in the field and a nice healthy prize pool just off the gg super uh millions world festival 200 million dollar prize pool this one is no face that you do recognize it's not a stranger mike watson he is on absolute fire he got married last year i was actually at his wedding in greece and he is uh he's a great guy great player great to see a lot of success live recently for him as well and we see some other familiar names benjamin raleigh of razor edge here at the final table some other familiar faces that you know too uh simon Matt's and nothing to be shy about. That is that is top as you get. Some some big time crushers. And anyone here, anything stand out? Anyone you like here with the the, the chips, the seats? Who who kind of who jumps out at you here? Yeah, I mean um, Alexi Boyka. He's a really good player, high stakes player. He's been playing live a bit too in, in Europe, I think. Um, Ted Venus Lowsby, another high stakes reg, good player. Very merry, I think won the. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think he won the Winter Circuit main event for like one point something million, like a 1500 main event. So uh, I think he won that. And of course, yeah, Simon Matson, Darwin, all time legend, one of the greatest, if not the greatest online poker player of all time. Benjamin Roll, uh, Ben CB. And yeah, I mean, it's just a stacked lineup today. Actually, pretty surprised because I, I was thinking, you know, maybe because WSOP is going on, maybe the lineup wouldn't be as good, but but no, it's, it turns out that this is a sick lineup and we're, we actually have a really good uh, FT ahead of us today, so. Yeah, yes we do. We're gonna dive right in. Let's see who's gonna beat the best today. We're gonna go take you to that featured final table with as some of the names mentioned. We actually have a, we'll have a few uh, play along, I believe as well, where you guys can, some mini games play along, guess what they have, which is a nice feature. It's always fun. Oh, whole cards up we get a little spoiled right kind of call to action it's easier to see what's going to happen it's kind of fun to guess certain situations as we see here where very mary comes out with the raise king 10 suited simon does not defend in the big blind ben ben raleigh with a little bit of a tough seat there simon is a direct left and mike watson though he does have position on him who is the chip leader seven eight suited Imagine I'm open. Are you up for a, a dinner? You want to do a little wager? Do a last longer? We 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 up for that? Yeah, wait. Who one, knows? Where? Yeah. Uh, did I? Did you win the last one? I forget who won the last one. I need a sheet. I need a Google sheet. I'm just. I'm. I'm my. If I don't know, I, I just treat. That's my rule. So I'm. I'm actually. You're free rolling. I don't know. I. I we'll, we'll. We'll play today. I'll keep track and we'll do it when I get out to Vegas. So um, okay. how about yeah, red or black? You can choose first. And then we'll we'll do a nice dinner in Vegas. All right. I'll take. I'll take red. 
Red is called. And everyone at home, hope you're enjoying. Let us know where you're watching from. Please hit that thumbs up. We'll have a giveaway for you, a $50 or $100 giveaway at the end of the stream as well. We got Red for the flop over there. And then, of course, we will have the hands up for you guys today as well to guess the winning hand. But uh, appreciate Appreciate everyone being here, and let's have a, a fun afternoon. And I think, uh, yeah, we're gonna see some high, high limit, high level poker. Yoni was in the booth last week. He had won the the week prior Super Millions. Was 11 million last week. Really, really fun tournament watching, and some some great play going on. Um, and yeah, today we are here in another another big one as a pretty nice flop for Ben here with the Queen King two clubs, Ace of clubs, and a gut shot. Uh, this is interesting. Goes small, goes third pot, as you might expect for a lot of the time. And very merry. What do you think about just calling versus don't really see many other options there? Yeah, I think call is definitely most standard. Definitely can't fold. Um, you know, taking a look at the stacks here, uh, just a quick little peek around. Uh, Madani is in last place by a good margin. And I think this should just get the fold here now on the turn. So basically, how aggressive you are in sort of your post-flop strategy is, is determined a lot by stack distribution, right? So all of these are relevant factors when you think about like, oh, do I want to call? Do I want to raise? How much of a global raise frequency do I want to play, et cetera, et cetera? So um, yeah, in that spot, I think calling is just the most standard. But okay, we're going to see some some action here. Yeah, four is going to open up, ace-king suited, going upstairs. Like the size and had a suited ace in the big blind as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Four is not going to be taken down. Do we see – we just flop. You have red, and we are still – Oh, yeah. Um, what was that flop? I could check back on the – Wait, was it? Did we even have a flop? Was it a flop? Cause, oh, yeah, it was. It was black, right? It was two blacks. It was two clubs. Yeah, you got it. Uh, I got it. So I get first, yeah. you get – Second, yeah. third. I get. I'm gonna. I gotta go. Sir Watts with the the chip lead and dial in in good form right now. That'll be my cool. first pick. Clear choice. Yeah, I'll take. Um, I'll well. I gotta take Boyka because he's the clear second in chips. I mean, I'll take Darwin after that just because he's the goat. Uh, Matson. Nice, good pick. So you got number two, and you said, and then you also get you get another one. You got Alexa. I oh, know. I got both. I got. I already took two. I got Boyka and Matson. Boyka, right. Okay, perfect. So, man, yeah, it's kind of one of those cases where almost maybe better to have the second, third pick. I'm going to, I got to go. I got my man, two of my good friends, Ben. I'll go Ben Raleigh. Not the most chips, but most experience maybe here left, 1.2 mil. Yeah. Um, You're going, it's one and one now. So you get, mm -hmm. you, okay. Uh, yeah, and I'll take uh, Ted Winnes Lowsby. I'm friends with him as well in real life. So I'll just go with my guy. All right, nice. And yeah, Mr. Doberman. Okay. And then I'll take um I'll just take Lucky Ming because he's just got the most chips after that. And then it's kind of seems like Very Mary is about to lose this pot. So <laughs> so it's probably uh, Yeah, there it is. A little 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 value that But you still you know. probably want to take him, right? And then I just get Madani. Yeah. Yep. That's that's it. That's our that's our that's how it shakes out. We'll give the audience at home. We're gonna give them some some of sweat. Fifty or hundred dollar giveaway. We'll give the hundred dollars awarded to. Let's give some big names. We'll give Ben Raleigh, Simon Matson. Give the chip leader Mike Watson, and let's go ahead and throw in Boyka as well, plus the shortest stack, uh, Madani. So that'll be the five right there. You guys get five of the nine, and a lot of the chips and the household names. Good luck to the audience at home. Again, you got to hit the thumbs up and be ready for the giveaway at the end of the show. We will have some hands up as well, another giveaway, and then we are going to be doing some mini games with you where we'll cover some cards, we'll guess some hands, and we'll have some fun call to action again alongside Mike Jozoff here. Jeff Cross, your host every week, Tuesday, Super Millions. This is a big one. Appreciate you being here. And again, let's uh, let's see let's see who gets it done today. This is definitely close to call. A lot of, a lot of big names here, a lot of competent players and Wide open, big jumps in the payouts, 335 up top, all the way down to that ninth place in your lower left of your screen. So, a lot to play for. Anything, anyone, anyone uh, stra strategically that you feel is in a better position, maybe seat wise, stack wise, that you're looking at that just maybe jumps out right now? I mean, you always want to be to the left of the, uh, to the, of the chip leader, right? So, um, 
in terms of seat position, I actually, I think I'm, I'm really bad at this because, you know, uh, when you make a final table on GG, they, they do the, the seat merry-go-round, right? Where everyone can choose what seat and and they have that little mini game. So I'm, I feel like I have no idea what's going on there uh, sometimes. But no, I think Ben is in a good spot. Um, Darwin's in a good spot. Matson. Um, <clears throat> I think the, 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 you know, you don't want to be probably like Mr. Doberman's probably not in a great spot, just sandwiched between kind of two chip leaders. He has, uh, boy, yeah, he's on Boyka's left, but then like when he's the button, he's opening to Mike Watson's big blind. So it's probably not the most ideal, but I mean, should be all right. Let's see yeah. here, 12 bit. Nice play there from Ben, recognizing that Mike's going to have stone air or uh, a good hand. He's got the suited, unsuited gap or the queen deuce, the, the big little, and takes it up. So big swing there. If you're watching at home, definitely a spot. Interesting blind on blind with chip leader being able to lean a lot. That's a nice recognition. Probably also very familiar with the game, what Mike's willing to do, and, and just decided that, hey, this is a decent time to take a shot, risk some chips, pick up some chips, and... Um, very nice pickup for Ben there as we do go to a flop between short stack high Madani and Mr. Madsen, who actually does have the eight when it checks back on the flop. Don't think there's yeah, not a ton of uh, deception here from Madani. So, I mean, unless he's got like nines or tens, jacks, queens, Madsen probably going to think he's just got the best hand. Does go ahead and bet at about a quarter pot. I think, well, I mean, Madani opened off 12 and a half bigs, right? So, okay, just folds. Um, I was wondering if uh, Matson would even defend there because when you when you min raise off such a small stack, it's usually pretty polar, right? Because if you, if you think about a hand like nines, let's say you said like nines would mostly just jam free flop, right? For 12 bigs in that spot. So when you min raise, you're saying you have like a really, really strong hand that you're inducing or you have hands like you know, like maybe King Jack off or something that you don't, that are too weak to shove or let's say, or something like that. So it, it kind of becomes this weird polar toy game. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. Good way to analyze it. And you're right. I mean, a little more showing you the comfortability of Matt's in to defend, right? Play a little yeah. trickier spots and, and be aware, really willing to even fold even a, a, if what appears to be a good flop, but nicely done and does win the pot. Gets the check back on the flop and then takes down the turn as we see here. Boyka going to be opening pretty wide as your coach, ship leader, and Lucky Ming out of the small. Going to be a strong hand most times as we do see it is Kings, and he does just pick up the pot there. So Lucky Ming over 2 million, still nine handed here. And we are at a, again, going to gonna play, we'll play to a winner. This is, uh, this is one of those things where final table, you never know, can be fast, can be slow. And at the moment, there are some short stacks. You see Mad Madini Madani with 400,000 at 40K big line, so 10 BBs. And we are in a very interesting spot here. We got the open ace king, and there's a real hand jacks behind. So expect the three bet from Mr. Raleigh and... Jack's going to have an interesting spot on the button here. Uh, taking his time. It's a, gross, it's a gross spot to have Jack's. Yeah. Yeah, also his stack, kind of awkward, right? Because there's yeah, it just, it just one, sort of like in the middle-ish, there's like the 400, 800K stack. Uh, you're actually, it's crazy, like the stack distribution, he's in sort of like tied for... The next shortest after the two short stacks with Mr. Ben Raleigh, but there's there's it's pretty tight, right? There's like four four guys with roughly the same stack right now. So wide open game today, anyone's game. Ben getting active, getting after with a couple light ones and getting a few decent hands and up to 1.7 million sixes. We see a lot of people fold these type of hands early position as Ben does, is especially with the the ICM and so many hands left to act. Just want to be weighted towards bigger. Bigger cards, bigger pairs doesn't doesn't open it up. As it turns out, not many hands behind playable. But what do you think the cutoff for him opening there is? I mean, so he's probably he's not going to fold eights, but sevens even. Ben, um, Ben might fold. I mean, sevens you can fold. I mean, the, the thing is like sixes, sevens, and eights. Uh, these like all these middling pairs from early position here. Um, yeah, they just don't really perform well, right? Uh, when you get three bet, you have no blockers. You can't really do anything. 
So most of the time you see people just fold sixes, fold sevens. Eights is probably the borderline hand, I would say. Um, opening into Madani's short stack, uh, big blind. But yeah, I mean, you have like, you know, seven people behind you. At, at these final tables, you want to just like muck those, those types of hands, as you said, Jeff. Um, yeah, definitely. There it is. Just they were kind of a sign telling them, hey, you didn't play it under the gun early position, but now a little different spot. And also, you know, Sir Watts with threes. These are interesting that are very difficult to play. I think about trying to set mine and he does yeah. go for that. Makes sense so, there. So he can he can peel here because he he's um, like two X covering or almost two X covering Doberman and Ben. Um so it's it's just a function of like who's covering who. Um Yeah. Yeah, that's uh Again, kind of, it's it, the pairs are funny, right? It's like so many times, how do you start? Oh, I'm gonna hit the set, set mine, or just get out of the way, and then you find like some boards where you talk yourself into playing. But as it stands here, somehow, some way, sixes are the best hand. Pretty scary board. And uh, threes, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. What do you think of that? Just a little, like, I mean, that's an ambitious. Well, I mean, he kind of has, he, he, he literally has, like, one of the worst hands he can have in that spot, right? With threes, right? I mean, any any suited Broadway is, is at least a pair, if not two pair of straight. Um all of the other pocket pairs are bigger. He, he has the worst hand he can have, so I think it's a it's good recognition from him. Yeah, yeah, nice. I mean, it's again price not a not taking a huge shot there to win the pot. Just doesn't have to risk much. Looks pretty strong betting into two people. Got a, you know, gonna get some people to fold better hands that we saw. I mean, sixes of course, but maybe even. Stronger than that as Ace Jack go ahead and Boyka has a little bit of a decision here. They're deep and nines with no heart. Does he want to peel here one time? I mean, he's beating hands. He's beating, he's beating a fair amount of hands. Ace Queen, Ace Jack, other hands. He does peel one off and there it is. That's not the card you want to see. Yeah. Well, now check. So it's a, it's a funny theme in poker. Bet when you don't have anything. Check when you have something. That's sort of a, a good good baseline strategy, right? You want to be polar, kind of bluffing or, or value or just showing down. And both players here are fairly comfortable. Ace-Jack obviously pretty high up in the range on this board as it plays out. And now does go for a big bet. Interesting, interesting bet size here into uh, a hand maybe somehow that he feels he could beat that king queen suited or ace 10 or something just decides to go big what do you what do you think there well, how do you decide on your size and on that river as that action's played out yeah i think um you're gonna play probably two sizes there i think you're gonna have like strong top pairs ace x that can you know that would bet the flop as a bluff checking the turn makes sense because um boyka can have like sets and stuff but when he checks back the turn he caps himself to a pretty large degree and then on the river, you just want to value bet your uh, your ace x against his his king x or even pocket nines or something like that. Just really trying to get called by 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 hands like king queen stuff like that. Um, and then obviously you can use a much bigger size with really 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 strong hands um, and have like a much more polar strategy with that. Okay, so jacks for Watson. We'll see what Lucky Ming does here with the queen ten suited. This 50k big blind. So okay, he goes for the three bet. Ooh. Yeah, these are kind of fun, right? As the chip leader, where you're actually like, man, I'm opening so wide. I'm actually have a premium hand. Do I just call yeah. play a pot where deep, or do I just decide that I'm getting messed with? And I would imagine Mike's gonna call here a lot as he does. Yeah, I think what you. Flop. Yeah, flop. you have to pretty much always call there. I mean, what do you? You can't like four bet call jacks. That would be like 
ridiculous in ICM. Um, also, like four bet folding is also ridiculous. So you just kind of have to pure call jacks there. Um, playing position, it's pretty nice. Uh, and then obviously, yeah, really, really bad flop for Lucky Ming. And he checks the 10 high board. I think this, this is actually kind of cool because on boards like this, um, I feel like people are kind of unbalanced to where like not, I'm, you know, these guys are really good. So I'm, I'm not necessarily talking about like the, the top players, but, you know, general population can be kind of unbalanced to where they, you know, if they have a 10 here, like if they three bet with like Jack 10, Queen 10, King 10, something like that, they'll just go for the C bet and then they'll just check a lot of their, you know, weaker hands. So it's important to play like a bad strategy where, you know, you're not going to be playing like a range C bet on that board, right? So you, def you definitely need to have some 10x and some strong hands that you check as well. Um, yeah, nothing to do here except check call. Yeah, I mean, it starts getting a little dicey. Of course, you have a great hand with no spade as played. Also, you know, you're 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 really thinking you're in decent shape, other than uh, set of sevens, jacks, exactly. Oh, okay, so so basically, like Lucky Ming probably can't have sevens at all. No, no, not him. I'm saying Mike. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, well, so I was saying, well, if Ming can have sevens, because now it sort of informs uh, if Mike Watson can go for a value jam, is sort of my idea. So, like, if you think that he's going to be betting, let's say Lucky Ming had, like, jacks and queens that are going to be betting, like, pure on the flop or almost pure, and then you start slow playing and checking more with kings plus. So now you're only worried about Lucky Ming having kings plus or probably exactly aces that's going to check the flop as a trap, right, and stay balanced that way. But other than that, because he doesn't three bet those pocket, those middling pocket pairs that are going to flop a set, you kind of have the nuts with jacks, unless he has aces or kings. Right. Right. So, yeah, no, I'm saying from from Ming's perspective, yeah. he like he feels pretty good that like the the hands that he's getting flat there. He, there's not many hands he's really you know, I guess losing to that are that are trapping. Right. Yeah. I guess like there are a few from. For Mike, but Jack's, uh, yeah, it could have got worse for him. He did just call the turn and still has 1.4 million, took an aggressive line. And I like, I like it. You know, he tell you he's opening against one of the chip leaders. He's three betting with a, a hand that not everyone's going to do that with, but it's, it's a, it's a, it shows that he's willing to play, play for chips, play for, play for roles. And it didn't work out there, but still in the game, 4 million for Mike Watson, ace five off. And Sir Watts thinking about what to do here against your buddy if he's going to, go for it with the ace five and he does go for it and ace queen all of a sudden a bit tricky a bit tricky to play yeah considerations here right you're thinking yeah am i good and am i if i'm good am i gonna is he gonna slow down and if not do i really what do i need to hit because it starts getting it's a little specific right you hit the ace you don't even know if you're good you got against ace king or or you know some other type a two pair hands that could come in if, if the ace comes uh there's 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 a lot going through his head there and he does fold you like to fold that's close close i think it's very it's hard just, to call uh, there it's, yeah it's hard it's hard to call you're out of position um you're not gonna win on a lot of rivers um yeah it's not clear what your clean outs are other than the 10 um so it's yeah it's, I, I like the fold Yeah, uh, interesting, interesting spot. Kings, ooh, Boyka, definitely going to want to be playing here. Uh, this is a spot where you can jam, especially because Madonna, yeah, and this unfortunately runs into it. Um, wow. Because, yeah, Madani is short, Very Mary is short, and he does just run into it here. That's some life. Has some more left. A little more. It's got the picked up gut shot going to the river. It feels like a lot. Ooh, it's a hard. It's in the Ooh. not one of the cards he needed. 2.9 million pot. Lucky Ming definitely feeling lucky and is off and running to a nice 2.9 million stack. Sir Watts 4.3. Boyka getting might be in a world of hurt here back to back here as he gets uh, ace queen suited versus the chip leader open. This could be trouble here, depending if Jack Queen wants to get involved. Yeah. It's 
So this is a spot where Tedman and Slowsby shouldn't be playing many flats um, at all. So Queen Jack suit is kind of an awkward hand to have here because, yeah, so he's going to recognize that he can't really play many flats here, right? Um, off of 30 bigs against the chip leader open uh, with short stacks behind. Yeah, definitely not going to play flat. So he decides really want to V-pit my hand, can't flat, so going to have to go for a three bet. And now he's queen suited. Is in a weird spot. I think I like to see him just fold here. Goes for a click. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So now he turns. This is now a four bet bluff. Cold four bet bluff. Now Watson with Ace King is like, you know, what's going on here? <laughs> it's not a good spot for Ace King off. I wouldn't be surprised to see him fold at this point. But now it comes down to how capable is my opponent? Okay, he does fold. How capable is my opponent of taking wow. this cold format bluff spot? Wow. Yeah. So, Boyka gets it done, takes what should have been a cooler against him, and turns it into a cold format bluff and wins a big pot. Got the assist, though, from your friend, right? That yeah, I got the assist. That, that that definitely been... doesn't... Exactly. If he just chooses to, let's say, fold Queen Jack suited, which would have been reasonable, um, yeah, then he probably just gets stacked. Yeah, Sir Watts has actually woken up as chip leader with premiums, right? And he's got people playing back at him with in spots, yeah. modest holdings, and he's actually had the good. So kind of a good timing for him. He just got a bit unlucky in the sense that, yeah, he read that as super strength, which, I mean, situationally... Yeah, it's a nice semi-bluffing hand in a way. Some people are going to make a meal out of that, but uh, really, really nice to be done. Nice hand. Nice hand. There it is. Ace, queen, suited, spades getting tossed around. Mr. Watson is in, in our, our, your friend Ted. He's uh he's starting to he's getting man I got some playable hands I'm getting kind of like toyed in here I want to be I want to stay solid I respect ICM but I also want to play and here he goes he's in there again he's in there yeah. with a close open spot and gonna run into a bit of adversity let's see my and my Donny is down to 194 as well yeah. kind of in a world of hurt here so I think because Ted Winnis uh opened let's see he had 1.3 roughly to start the hand so like 26 bigs. So I think off of 26 effective, uh, Watson is probably, he could still go for a flat here because three bet calling doesn't feel particularly great. Yeah. So he does just go for the flat, right? And like, again, you kind of have to ask yourself, like, if I three bet, what's the game plan if he four bets, right? That's always what you have to ask yourself. So like, do you want a three bet full days queen suited? Do you want a three bet call? You don't really want to do either. I think I'm having an issue with my mic. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you, but there's a little bit of uh, a little bit of like a background noise. I think. All right, Pol apologize for that, guys. Gonna make it a hundred dollar giveaway. Just off, you don't have to sweat. Who's gonna win today? Sorry for the the delay. Um, do not. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I'm not sure if my mic setting is right. Got a uh, got some issue with that, but apologize for that. As we are in a spot here, Mike's gonna come out leading the turn for 250 yeah pretty frustrating ft for for my for my guy ted went a good fold there too um but yeah just every spot he's been in has been gross a lot of second best hands etc so Yeah, nice. Uh, still 1.1 million, plenty of chips. And seeing if the mic is better. I apologize, guys. I don't know. I've had this I had this once before, but maybe it was two mics were plugged in. Just took one out. I hope that helps. It's going to be a $100 giveaway. Yeah, you got to hit the thumbs up. Be ready at the end for a keyword, end of the stream. Make it a $100 giveaway. You don't have to sweat who's going to win today. I'm just going to give it to you. I don't know if, uh, man, 
sometimes you just need the, the the simple mic you know i got this like uh elaborate setup and it's not working right I apologize hopefully it's better now hmm. we did testing before as well which is strange but didn't hear it but it's how it goes man technology you know everything can't be perfect that's just that's how it is we gotta gotta have uh you gotta you gotta do your best and the show must go on. If it gets worse, I'll try to, to pop off and get back on. But right here, we got Watson popping off in the ace queen. Just going for it. I mean, he's in there opening, three betting. Yeah. Two stepping out here. Jason Parker, let's make it happen. Make it happen. I, that would be a great guest. Got a lot. I think we. I, I haven't talked in a while. I haven't talked to him on Twitter a long time ago. Still flickering, huh? Let's see if I can see if that's better. Anyone testing? Can you hear me? Yeah, it's still there. The problem. Meanwhile, uh, Watson just rivered a straight. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Not sure what's going on, but I do know that it's nice. He's got the ace ten, ace of club, also for Doberman, and he is going to shove it in. Interesting. <laughs> Shows the three of clubs, Ben. Gonna, gonna just add a little bit of thing, a little bit of confusion, a little bit of pro thought provoking card sharing there as Watson over 5 million, huge, huge lead. Huge lead, five mil. Who's in yep. second? I mean, is there anyone? Yeah, I guess Lucky Mink still with three, but pretty much separation. Madani super short. We might get to see an ICM clinic here from, uh, from Sir Watts, Mr. Watson. Yeah, I don't think we've seen one really. You know, and honestly, in all the super millions, I haven't really seen one where we get someone just to go ridiculously insane, have people pegged down to the to the felt, folding every hand. Like once or twice, we 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 treaded, trended that way, and then it didn't quite happen. But yeah, I mean, at the moment, there is, especially with the cards, right? He's getting like big hands, getting the best hand dealt. People playing back at him which also could be the case here. It's like one of those things where I, calling makes the most sense, but you might just say, hey, this guy's just taking the, you know, taking the utmost. But as it plays out, both players connect pretty strong here. Yeah, we'll get those Twitter giveaways back up. Actually, I got to put something up here for Instagram. I, I've been a little bit uh, social media main man has been under the weather for about two weeks and uh make them a little bit more difficult on everything so yeah we'll get those back going the giveaways we got giveaways though for you we got we got plenty i mean boyka you got the ace this is actually a tricky spot you guys see him getting sticky here good it's a tricky spot for sure. I wouldn't mind seeing either a call or a fold. Watson's plan here is probably just bet turn and check back the river. Um, because of the way stacks are distributed, doesn't have to worry about getting raised too often on any street. Uh, so he can kind of just bet with a little bit of impunity now, just being able to check back a lot of rivers. And Boyka's in this really tough spot here. So, yeah, I mean, I would also be using a lot of time here with a stack. Yeah, I just got a feeling he's going to get sticky here. I mean, I, I just, it's so hard. Like, ICM, I, I'm wrong, but I feel like you're just, you feel, I guess that's the problem, though, the size. You're kind of playing for all of it. You got got a guy willing and able to, like, rip it in on yeah. the river. So that's the problem. But I, I, I feel like Spidey Sense really thought he was getting bluffed there, but still just makes this one lay down. And uh, But also, also, you know, Madani has three big blinds, right? And, uh, Mary Mary has 11, and so there's like some really, really short stacks that are imminent to bust. So going out in ninth 
as Boyka is really bad in that in that spot. Yeah, but that's you know I mean that's also the same token. Uh, what what uh he knows that right? He's, he's like not, a, not he's not afraid. So now he starts thinking like he might be getting getting leveled. But oh yeah, You're right. It's a lot of money, and it, the cost of being wrong there is a lot. Yeah. You on IG? You using IG? You do, right? You, I have you on Twitter, but... Yeah, uh, I have IG. Your IG, I think. Just, uh, at Michael Joseph. Text me, text me on thing. And Ace-10, Ace-9, Madani! Holding on, keep the fight alive. He is in Ace Ten to Ace Nine. It's just never yeah. over till it's over. And uh, that actually, it's one of those ones if you're the chipper, you kind of like to potentially. It's not the worst thing. A uh, short stack double, keep alive. You leverage that in spots and yeah. gets a walk. It's a walk. Five. It's one of those things take for granted. You know, I get I get help and then. Uh, yeah, the, the Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff takes for granted. It takes time and effort. And I will get those good boys back going a bit. Jennifer Tilly, that's a nice. That would be nice. That would be a nice guest. I like Jennifer a lot. She's a lot of fun. It's fun. And here we go. King Seven suited upstairs, man. Just going for it. And Simon. Simon basically with the, the spot that is. Uh, you know, this is a tricky one. You don't like it. You know it's kind of abusive, but you also like money. Very tricky. Like, I really don't like calling here. I think you can fold, and I also think you can go for a four bet not all in. I don't like calling though. He does just go for fold. That is understandable. Totally understandable. And Mike Watson, 5.6. He is starting to run. He is gonna double be... Lucky Ming. And he is this is in... going to be interesting because Madani is going to put in the rest, which is going to reopen the action here. And then Lucky Ming sitting there with Ace King and Voika has got Jacks behind. Yeah. This is, um... oh. Yeah. This is. Um... Woo! We are we're gonna see some collisions here. Wow. Boyka, lot going on, lot to play for here. 1.5 million still. He folds, but he's got jacks, extra money in the middle. So how big of how big a mistake is it here if your opponent has ace king, or is it because they you know in terms of risk premium? Kind of, you, there are shorter stacks. You want to flip? I mean, with the math, even is it right to call here? I think when he jams, uh, you're expecting ace king a lot, like exactly ace king, right? Because for the most part, I think there should be some like four bet clicking and stuff and whatever. But like, if he has kings or aces, right, he's not going to four bet jam like with lucky bang, right? So now when you have jacks, you're like, okay, he doesn't have aces or kings. Maybe he has queens. Maybe he would do this with tens, you know? But, yeah, this is a really weird spot that, like, pretty much nobody has studied too much because it's a weird spot where it's like, well, I shouldn't say nobody has studied. Maybe I just haven't studied it. But, like, small, small stack reopening the action and then a four-bet rip. So I imagine that he knows he's going to be up against Ace King a lot here. And then risk premium, who knows?
What would you do here, Jeff? Jack. And I've, I'm, you know, I'm looking back actually at some of my WSOP, getting ready to get out there coming up and, and looking, you know, I've, I think I have like seven WSOP final tables. I have second through eight. And I think I, looking on it, I, I feel like I don't go for it enough spots close, right? Like, I feel like if I think he has ace king or, you know, folding tens. And I mean, look, I, I get it. I get the fold and look at that. Jack on the river is just cool and unusual. And I, I think, again, it really depends. It depends. What your what your plan is, what your goal is, ICM will tell you. Yeah, try fold, but you know you want the title, you want the, the big it might, one. It I might mean, not though. It might it might not. It might. It might not tell you to fold. You're saying. Yeah, it might. Not. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. That's a it's a weird spot. It's a tough spot. It's gonna be a, whether it's gonna tell you to, to 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 call or fold. This is a spot where, in my opinion, like running a sim of this spot is not gonna work well because. It's going to be so dependent on what Lucky Ming's strategy is when he chooses to four bet all in there after the the small rejam. So you're going to have to like make certain inputs for what your assumptions are of Lucky Ming's range, and who knows if your assumptions are right or wrong. You know, so running a sim isn't going to be that helpful. He has a set here though, running high, still lucky. Goes for a check call. Ben has like the best combo ever to bluff now. Look at this. Yeah, this is this is this is wild. I mean, like you if you're ever if you ever have one, I mean if you could tell a story here, but you just worry. You run into like you you get two pair to fold, you get a set to fold, you get you know, I mean it it I, I just gotta believe this is one of those ones. The guy's a the legend. Yeah, I mean this is like it, this is on a silver platter here in terms of combos to bluff. But he just folds. He just folds. Maybe it's because, in his experience, Lucky Ming is not the biggest folder in the world. You know, maybe he doesn't think Lucky Ming would fold two pair. And if he's not going to fold a hand like two pair, not the bluff's not going to be good. You know, he needs to start folding pretty high up in his range. Um, yes. Yeah, there's... Uh... Yeah, I mean, the, honestly, those are one of those things to in poker. I think it's so interesting, right? Like, I, I feel like that's something I've always I've blo need to bluff more. And I just feel like it's it's hard, right? Like, to, that's like a tricky part. If you can put someone on a hand, you know, to know how they're going to react, right? It's like really hard yeah. sometimes to know how, so, especially he's got chips, you know, he might just like not be interested in folding. I, I like that particular hand, right? Doubt. Oh. To me, like it's funny, that, it's funny we're talking about this because that's you know as I you know got back to the states to, to come here to, to Vegas to play WSOP, and I'm playing a field like the one I was in yesterday, like a random 1500 freeze out, and there's just tons of recreationals, right? A lot of times they'll play their hands somewhat face up, or they'll play you know somewhat, you know it's not too difficult to put them on a hand, right, or a, or a hand class. But the tough part can be like, okay, let's say I know this guy's capped, I know he has a middling pair. Is he going to fold, like, if I go for it on the river? So that's kind of the tough part. It's not knowing what he has. It's, it's sort of how he's going to react, you know, because a lot of different players can take the same hand and react differently to a big bet on the river or something. So definitely one of the yeah. fun things about poker. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it, that's, that's like, you know, like, uh, this is sort of brings up, like, the hell news. You know, he's talking about, like, oh, I raced 14 times with nothing pre-flop and yeah. he's going to fold or I – know this like these are the things that whether it's true or not you know you can't you do have to have that intuitive portion to the game because like at home if you're like wow this guy's such a such a weak player he didn't go for the bluff when it's like a obvious he has the nut ace of spade card but you just like you know what what does the guy have did he happen to have did he have a, a the king high flush or would did he just get the showdown like middle pair that you would have won you know if you had been right. aggressive so like these are these are kind of like really hard uh hard spots i actually i played i played one of the most ridiculous hands i'll find it you guys see this there's a long time ago maybe before your time on twitch where i like deck back top boat on a straight two card straight flush spot so like it's it, it you know what i mean like it's bad you no know, right right like it's just bad because like how could it be but the guy had it he had a straight flush and like i checked back literally like jack 10 on jack 10 10 or jack jack 10 some like insane hand it's deep in my Instagram, yeah. but like the like guy jack, had it, like and it was jack, like jack and nine eight or something like that. 
and he had some, like, yeah it was in there like a 500 dollar knockout on uh whatever and i just like it was in a spot and the thing but even like again like then there's the argument is it is it bad right because like yeah he had it but like he's just never gonna have it or like how about all yeah. the other times he doesn't have it like how hopeless right. it is so like i don't know like that was a big debate and it's it's curious right i don't know you could argue it i mean yeah I, that's when you start walking the uh, the genius idiot line you know um that's that's a, a lot of guys are too results oriented but at the same time you know like i do believe there is something in some people where they just kind of have that feeling you know the white magic as it's called uh i, I do kind of believe in that to some extent but obviously like people you know i'm, I'm more of a theoretical guy you yeah. know I, I that's sort of my background but i don't discount you know when helmut says oh i have the white magic i mean the guy is what 15 16 bracelets like he's I mean, pre-ordered his luxon hats he's pre-ordered them for seven yeah he's, oh yeah he pre-ordered the seven he pre-ordered the 17 and 18. I mean, yeah hey look he wrote the positivity book the secret the man yeah. is uh, he's a he's a he's the i i got a lot of love for phil i'll tell you he gets a he gets a he, you know some people don't give him a hard time but he really does wear it on his sleeve he loves the game he's got a yeah. big heart he's just a bit of a unicorn you know what i mean he's got his own style and way of being but like seems well all the time and he does genuinely a good guy and uh yeah i mean look at this ace and who did the math is in and we got it we got a we got a fair fight it's a pretty even-ish spot ace 10 suited a little bit of an advantage no one cares three to one all of a sudden favorite that's the one that's the hard one to dodge can you put the, the slow peel the gg slow peel river is one that give us takes i mean it's good clean it's a diamond it's non base card it's 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 good Benjamin roll is yeah. at one mil flat and very Mary is very much alive at over 1 million 65,000. So huge, huge spot for the field. Everyone. I mean, look, look at this stack sizes. You got 5.5, 3.6, and then basically a million a pop between 1.4 and 1 million for everyone. That is a wild distribution right now that favors Mr. Watson. Very lucky men got to like their spot too as well. This could be, this could be just a jam here, right? I mean, yeah, 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 and collision time. I'm in max. Yeah, we are all in ace jack kings. Kings, it's the favorable flop, covering. Really good situation going to the river. Still has to fade a few things, as you see the percentage there, and it is. Ooh, that looks scary. Is that a? That is. Be a jack. Oh. Ooh. No. Devin, that's the one. Those are the tricky ones where you don't you don't know what it is, but I'll tell you what it is. It's a hold for Kings as we see a big tackle, very merry way, and Doberman in trouble, and, and very merry is off and running with a couple of powerful hands to put in a new position in the tournament, 2.2 million. I was just looking at past winners, and we have Simon Moskin has two titles. Ben Raleigh has one. I believe that's it. Season. A little hard to believe. I believe I think that's it. That's it. All the winners got. So the only we might have a new champion here on Super Millions as we are off in the all in again with a gonna get called and dominated here. Probably thinking, right? Maybe a lot. I guess no, it opens action, does it? It's eight four suited, multi plane effectively versus a min raise but does the action opens there right it's 120 to 180. this is another weird spot where like yeah i probably would fold there too and just see if doberman can stay alive asking a lot has a dominated hand needs a river Stop to stay out. in and that's it GG, Boyka, and and you know, I'll tell you what happened. This was a streak. I, I'll see. I know you're very in tune to the Super Millions. You watch. You're hosting. You're you're co-hosting. You're doing a lot on the Super Millions. Do you know what was different today? That's not normal. One of the only times I think I've ever been here, and this happened. You're gonna, if you get this, I'll be impressed. I don't think I'm gonna get it. <laughs> it has something to do with the the representation of the the flag. Oh, I got you. Yeah, there's no Brazilians at the FT. No Brazil and the FP. I mean, that is a first, but yeah. we still got the Austrian flag there, but I believe that's a uh, a first. What's up, Pappy Van Winkle? Good to see you, brother. And yeah, that is a that is a first, but you know what time it is? It's World Series of Poker yeah, in Vegas Yeah, they're all time. here. They're winning bracelets. They're all supporting. They're going nuts. 
and they are not playing online, it looks like, or maybe not enough play to make the final table, which I believe that broke a streak. Yeah. I believe have, that's a streak, Don. Yeah. I mean, I know Yuri, Yuri is here, and uh, I'm not sure about a lot of the other Brazilian uh, Super Millions regs. Uh, this should just be an all-in and a call. Got a root for my boy. Good flop. And, ooh, ace queen. Ace queen through the river against the Houston, the taxi they call this there. Powerful hand, but. Ooh. Hmm, just say that hand. And has ruined so many things. I've actually lost the three biggest pots in my tournament poker career to King 10. And that each time was dramatic and ahead and big spots. And that hand is uh, absolute savage. Savage, savage river there. King 10 going to come home. And Lucky Ming is doing Ooh. it all today. 4.5 mil in second. And GG to your buddy there. Dad, yeah. Looks yeah. like he, uh, you know, got some weird spots he went for, right? He was he was, he was active. He was playing playing pots and ultimately got it in good. Didn't hold. Yeah. He just had a brutal FP. Like, every spot was a super tough decision. Got put in brutal spots. Basically always had the second best hand. When he had the best hand pre-flop, like, just there, you know, wasn't the best hand by the river. So... Nothing he could really do. Um, just unlucky. Ooh, oh, look at go. this. Is this the first? Are we playing? Are we going mystery it. mystery hand, a mini game on the Super Millions right here? So let's play along. We're going to see blind on blind. This is my probably favorite spots in poker. We got the jack eight off. I'm thinking there's going to be a raise here from Watson just based off stacks and just almost in general out of principle. But he does jack. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Michael. Let you play. What do you do here? Top pair. Spot. Checking yeah. Over? Well, I think you're just checking this board super high frequency. I mean, you can bet. Obviously, it's fine. It's a spot where either thing is fine. You are checking really high frequency because you're covered, because blind was blind, all this stuff. I was going to say, I think, a, I think a call, I like that. I think Mike's going to be kind of on this board, right? This is kind of a board where he's going to check back. There's like he's going to he's going to raise his best hands in his air. Jack nine, deuce, two hearts. Like, I, I just feel like there's, you know, he's got some – Got some 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 hit some hits here. He's kind of on top of this board. I like. I think this is a good slowdown for Boyko with this card. Not a good card for Boyko. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, checking is most standard here. Uh, I don't think you want to start trying to get cute and going for some small block bets and play a strategy around that because you're just going to be getting raised a bunch. Okay, so now Watson goes for a big bet. So now immediately your jack-8 is already a bluff catcher on the turn. Paul's, oh, and he rivers a straight, but is wow. it good? That's kind of a weird spot. If he, you know, so obviously you have to you have to check here. Um, and, then, and then obviously you just pray to see a check back. Because when he goes for a bet here, he's pretty much only repping a king. So, let's see if Boyka's going to lead here. I don't know if there's that much leading in this spot, because when Watson barrels the turn, he's going to have a lot of King X as a bluff. So, yeah, he does go for the check. And now, you really want to see the check back. And it looks like the longer he takes, the less likely we're going to get a check back. This is one of the worst feelings ever, by the way. When you check out of position on the river, you're rooting for a check back, and then you get the bet. I don't think he's ever going to bet to care for value here. Right. Uh, I don't this think. This is a fun hand. Snap call. Does he have like? What does he have? Queen eight. eight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, I was going to say, in that size, uh, he can have. He can for sure have eight x if he's going to bet half pot and just bet fold the river, because you want to talk about under block spots. Boyka jamming there is one of the most underbluffed spots in poker, pretty much. Yeah, well, interesting hand. Very cool. That was fun. That was a fun hand. I hope they do more blind-on-blind yeah. blind ones. I just feel like those are – the ranges are so wide, and it's fun. But that was, I think, well played, right? Boyka kind of kind of realized yeah. what was going on. It was not a good turn for his hand. And as we were saying, like, that makes sense. Um And yeah, wow, very cool, very cool spot. Mike's still five point five million, nice hand there. 
And uh, very fun, very fun hand here. We see deuces and ace jack. Diamond closing the action. Oh. Nice, nice adjustment. A lot of people just going to call step mine, hit eight and a half to one or whatever to, to flop a stat. But he just says, you know what? I got, I got a stack to, to shove. I'm going to put some pressure on you, make you call off and get some good hold, get some good hands to hold. Get face jack to. Yeah. Hold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So Jeff, when are you when are you getting to Vegas? Uh end of June. Gonna go to Brazil. Uh my wife's family. I told we had a newborn about two months ago, so I'm gonna gonna just uh, kinda yeah. take an easy yeah. bend. Thank you. I've been yeah. a little crazy. Uh, and then I'll play five probably get there for the twenty five K PLO, but definitely the high low. I love the ten K. Um PLO eight. Played that last time I got fifth. That was my that's one of my favorite games. And then the main I play maybe like MK Turbo, uh, a few other things. But yeah, try to get out towards the, that stretch. A lot of stuff I like to play. Like, uh, yeah. One. There's a lot. Just dude, the, like the poker, poker is really booming right now. I mean, the all the tournaments. It seems like there's always insane stuff to play. Um, guarantees are getting smashed left and right. So, pretty pretty crazy time for live poker. Are they guaranteed? The, the World Series, they, I, they, I mean, in the past, they don't typically guarantee events. Did they guarantee a mystery bounty? Have they done some guarantees on these? Uh, I don't think they're guaranteeing stuff, really. Like, But I'm saying, for example, like the there was one at the Aria that uh, was a 2 million guarantee, and it ended up getting like like 4 million or something, or almost 4 million. So, I mean, basically, ever like, stuff at the win, everything is basically like doubling its guarantees. All right, there's a look. Uh, there's a look at the payouts and a couple already out. My my Donny didn't get anything going. Just couldn't get it going. Got yeah. got a uh, got short from short, and he is now in a he's out. That's what he is. He went from short to out, and there are officially six left. We have a few knockouts, and Mr. Watson is gonna jump in the lead. Gonna swing. I mean, can't imagine going anywhere. Although six ten suited, no back doors. Good card though. Pretty good card, I guess. Spades you're losing to now, but the ten feels a little stronger. Maybe not gonna bet that many tens if you're lucky Ming. So yeah. kind of does he have an ace or not? Has he got a flush? Sure he could. He does have a card. Gut shot Jack King with the spade. Expect him to probably barrel here, right? It feels like one you could if a guy doesn't have an ace isn't gonna maybe hold on. Semi bluff, but does check back. I prefer to see a barrel there for sure. Yeah. I, uh, you have just such an insanely good candidate. Queen Jack, combo draw, Jack of Spades in your hand. You have one of those. I mean, yeah, one of your prime bluff candidates here on the turn are going to be offsuit Broadway combos with the Spade, right? So Queen Jack with the Spade is exactly that. Yeah, and again, like Lucky Ming is so in such a great position, and I think that's sometimes maybe not. I'm not saying mistake, but maybe like in, if you're not as experienced too you're kind of like man i got 4.8 million i'm in second like i don't want to mess around too much i want to just kind of let other people knock out not tangle but that would have yeah i would have liked to see a big barrel there um, yeah but of course that might have been a fun hands up too right to see the uh, mini game there to see what 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 goes on and what mike watson has and what how he would react but as it turns mike watson kind of all working for him and here he goes putting pressure on same matchup ace queen to king 10 that we saw earlier, but a little different scenario, right? Stack size, position wise, power wise, and Mr. Watson is at a cool six mil in control right now. And again, very things breaking. The way you said could be a little bit of an ICM situation where Mike just gets to really lean on people, he can as just, we see he here. Can just be one as well. Yeah, he does jam. This is one of those things I say too, like if you're playing 10 tables online versus playing one or two, of course, this is the final table, big one, super millions, a lot of money. But these are those things where like you might miss spots, right? Where you're playing multiple things and it's like a spot where you min raise or limp instead of shove. And, you know, like you just shove there and you get to pick up so much and, and yeah, you understand if he, why. If, yeah. if he opened there, then Ben is 100% re-jamming his ace-four suited, right? So it's a big difference, obviously. 
Um, I think the jam is by far the best play in that spot. And yeah, like you said, if you are playing, one thing I've been conscious of, you know, grinding online is to, to reduce table count. And I think there's kind of like a bit of uh, ego that people have in terms of, oh yeah, dude, I'll play like 16 tables or whatever. And, you know, Ben, ben actually, Ben, uh, ben CB is, is like one of those guys who somehow does play like 20 tables and plays well and wins. I just, I can't do that. Him and Pat are like the two guys that are notorious. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm, on my podcast, I think I've, I've gotten to talk to so many people and this is my one of my favorite questions to understand and listen to what they do and what they've done if it's transitioned their career and, you're right. There's some guys, Mormon or you know, Pads yeah, or Ben Mormon's or a few other, you know, yeah. you can name. There's people that can do it. I know personally, if I could redo like one, the most thing I've done in my poker career, I would say play less tables. Like I think I've, you know, especially streaming on Twitch, like yeah. playing eight, 12 tables, trying to follow the chat, not giving the right attention to the audience, but also not playing my best versus like two table, you know, focus, watch, pick up the blind on blinds, just all the spots and just like have a better win rate, do less more a lot of the time and that i think if you're if you're at home and you're grinding poker i would make that is a really consider that phil galfon spoke on that recently too about like hey just try to you know hey, be conscious of that play less see how it goes and look at this the straight comes in and another pot going mr watts oh i'm sorry no i'm sorry i was i think he caught a bluff with the low straight but no nice hand for ming who has been very very strong range and is going to have it there so five million five point seven million those yeah. are your two leaders what, yeah, is your sure. new, what is your new table count like if you were to like what do you think is like your ideal situation on yeah a on a normal sunday i i like to go like i always like to have eight tables is my ideal um that's kind of my max when i start going like 10 or more i can start feeling like you know, occasionally I will start burning time bank in one table or, you know, I'll, I'll miss a spot, I'll screw up a sizing, just careless mistakes that you wouldn't make, you know, if you if you had fewer tables. Um, you know, on, on, when I'm playing, like, high stakes, like if I'm playing online 10Ks, then I try to reduce more than, like, I'll try to do, like, four to six if I'm playing, like, bigger. Um, but just on a normal Sunday where, you know, maybe there's only one 10K or there's only, or not even any, like, if I don't play Super Millions or something, then I'll just play, like, eight and be pretty comfortable with that. Oh, here we go. This this one, we might see the raise, right? This is the one we're going to see potentially 280, something like that, this exact yeah. distribution. But he does. He goes for the, the check back. I think he also realizes how tight Boyka's going to be limping in here with some other stacks in the situation. But I'm a little surprised not to see a raise there with that. This particular one. Yeah, I think, I think really it's just a mix. You know, I think Watson, Watson, I know, is a very theoretical player. And I think he's just rolling some frequency there because it's tough, right? You have basically, imagine this spot in the big blind, right? You have almost any hand is viable, almost any hand is viable to, to check back or raise. Uh, yeah. Obviously not, your, your strongest value always wants to raise, blah, blah, blah. But like, you have like seven three off, let's say. You have king three off, you have like nine four off, you have ten five suited. Like all of these hands are viable to raise at some frequency. So you really just have to manage those frequencies and make sure you're not like way overdoing it or way underdoing it. Yeah, that's a great point. Very interesting. Very interesting stuff here. I'm really interesting to see Ben on the short stack here. He's got about 10 exactly, right? 7,700, yeah. It's about 7, 10 blinds here. Both with some clubs. Yeah, boy, this was my favorite poker hand growing up for about a year and a half. I think I just love this hand. I don't know why. It seems to make hands like do things. But Ben, Ben Discipline knows, hey, I could, I'm, Ben, I learned from you from, from Razor Edge, the risk premium is the lowest. So he, he could argue to call there, right? You're closing the action, you got the, the yeah. shortest stack. Um, I mean, I think I think with just what he's thinking is that uh, Alexi Boyka is opening with the chip leader on his left. So Watson with, like, the super chip lead on his left um, incentivizes him to open pretty tight. So if he's opening pretty tight, then Jack Four suited, not looking so great. I think that one's going to be a theoretical defend for sure, but I don't hate him folding it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Dig. This for the min res. This is a spot that's really easy to overdo. The min res here off nine bigs. Queen King seven eight two aces. Hello, hello. And if you're Mr. Matson, you just you just you. I mean, timing is not good here. Wonder if uh, because you know Watson folded, so now Ming is the effective huge chip leader in the hand, right? And I think you can really punish by like flatting and playing in position and stuff. I wouldn't mind to see him flat here, just covering. Okay, yeah, fold's probably more standard because you're just too shallow, but it's. You, you, I think flatting is an idea there. Maybe it's too shallow anyway. But anyway, Boyka here is probably just going to go for the... Let's see, how, how deep are they to start? Yeah, okay. Just for the call. Makes sense. Setting the trap. Yeah, nice discipline here off the stack depth to, to go ahead for the, the set. And not everyone's going to do it. It's a little bit, obviously, higher risk, but you're also just, you know, you're getting the reward in this player that's going to be capable this is sort of the dream scenario mm -hmm. right you get the guy king high king queen and two overs and here we go i mean and eight four Oh, close your eyes, call, right? What else you can do? Stop the SPR one. I mean, you just you just got it this far. No real draws to call. Everything looking pretty clean. Check. And I mean, this diamond, is there, is there? It, it's, the thing is, though, the call here, like, what hands are you calling? That, like, you just, you know, you have, like, a, a, a like, the, the hand, you just got to be, the radar's got to go off a little here. But I think you would just call, you know, 8X, 10X. Yeah. Jack nines. Nine sevens. Stuff like that. Yep. Now if you're if you're um if you're Matt's in here, it's kinda like not great. The seven of diamonds really, really mashes the big blinds range here. And if he checks the river, you definitely King Queen's not a bad bluff candidate here. Because he would be calling, he would be continuing like Queen Jack, Boyka on the flop, right? Which is like the Jacks. You block Queen Jack. Um, you do a good job of blocking him having, I don't know, King Jack would often pull the flop. But I, I wonder what we're going to see here. I think from Boyka, you can either block or check. He goes for check. I don't think, yeah, block or check seems good. And then I would find it really difficult to not bluff this river. Yeah, so like what sixes does he have on the flop? Like he's defending six what? Like that he would not really the six. It's it's more the jack, right? No, I know that's what I'm saying though. So like yeah, you're looking at straights, like yeah, and then you have the queen king. It's like they sort of like jack what jack X's does he have that he calls? I guess he'd have jack eight or something, but so what do you even he check have, back in? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he goes for like the ICM size here. So he does have to bluff the river. Um I say ICM size because you know at final tables post flop. Sizes tend to just get smaller because if you're Matson, you don't want to play a strategy that puts yourself all in, right? Um, if you think about what he's going to be betting the flop with as a bluff, Matson, he's going to have a lot of jack X that goes for that big size, right? You can imagine he's going to have queen jack, king jack, stuff like this, jack nine. And... Really gross spot here for aces. Yeah, I mean, whew, not the run out. A pretty great flop. The turn, you set it. You're just hoping to see the jam, right, with some, like, small equity-ish or a stone bluff. And now, the river, you actually get a really ridiculous run out. But 
you probably mm-hmm. have a reasonably good bluff catcher with aces because he's not going to be bluffing with that many aces in his hand that 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 size on the flop. So like maybe you're worried, you know, he could have stuff like ace five suited that's going to maybe play like this. So that could be not great. Like the wheel aces are not great. But whenever he has a hand like ace jack or so, like he's never going to bet huge on the flop. Ace queen, ace king. So. Yeah, I mean, man, this is tough. This is tough. This would also have been a fun hand to play um, the, the mini game to, to guess because yeah, this is, this you know, this one. is a really hard river spot. This is really hard. We should have covered, uh, we should have sweated with Boyka and then just try to figure out what Darwin, he calls. Uh, call. I mean, look, I, I think you got to, at some point, you got to pluck in the, the fact that you have aces and you're flat and free. I mean, your hand's so under wrapped and you just, Kind of like you're gonna get yourself in that spot and go for it, but I mean, look, uh, interesting. I mean, they, look, the board, the board was, board was scary. Still a good call. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's why poker is beautiful. Put that in your notes. Get a review. Simon, yeah. two-time winner on the Super Millions, Ben Raleigh. It's gonna be hard. It's probably gonna be a new winner of Super Millions. Mike Watson surprisingly has not won. He has had. 12 final tables in the prior season, and he is going for his first Super Millions title. It's kind of crazy, right? You look at players, you see the results, Hen and Mobs, they've won this, Tritons, Bracelets, yep. WPTs. He's a two-time EPT winner, one of only three players, I believe, who's done that, but no Super Millions title. And, hey, you know, the, the trophy, I, I think Pat, Patrick Leonard mentioned this a long time ago. I think there really should be more trophies, right? If you win the Super Millions, 335K, they should ship you, like, a – Know, like a UEFA Champions League style trophy, like it's a big deal. Like it's a lot of money. I, I want. I, it's fun to have trophies. You know what I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's just like I was like that in soccer growing up. You know, you win something cool. It's like it's, it's nice. Some people don't do seconds. Some people love any medal, anything. But uh, yeah, I think it'd be nice to um, to have trophies sent out. It's a big force. I don't know where you draw the cutoff, but really, yeah. You, know, you know, Full Tilt used to give you a shirt when you when you knocked got a bounty from a pro. So <laughs> at some point, like. Yeah, they can get trophies out. It's about the same cost. Yeah, I mean, you're you, you got to talk to someone about that, Jeff. I would love to. Uh, I'd love to see that. I think that's a really good idea, marketing wise, and just I think everyone wins. You know, the player. It's a cool accolade for the players. Probably. Yeah, like you, you got your you got your house. You know, your stream. People are streaming nowadays. Or yeah. YouTube, and you got your background. You got twenty trophies in there. Like, what'd you win? I won the the the, the forty forty dollar turbo, like for four K. But that's you know, it's hard to win, man. Hard to actually yeah. win it. Reward it. So Ben is in the tank here. Seventy K big blind. He shoved. What is that? So two forty five plus two sixty is like five hundred. So like seven big. And he's tanking with ace four off. I think this is just a fold. Yeah. I don't. I don't really. <laughs> Shows the deuce. Michael Wasserman is is uh, alert. He knows. He recognized. Third time. Third time here for Mike Joseph joining us. He's fresh off his twenty five K. WSOP 120 something case four, I believe 124.5. I saw that was sweating. Brian Rast, one of my, my also guests on the show several times and one of my closest friends. He was, I think, one or two of nine. That was a pretty interesting hand, actually, the eighth, that handy bluff. We talked about it on the phone afterward. Uh, very interesting. I'm sure you, you remember that hand, right? Where he yeah. held triple barrel eights. Um, yeah. Rasty, Rast took a bunch of my chips in that tournament. Final two tables. I just couldn't win a hand against him. I think I just ran in the top of range twice. I bluffed him in a three bet pot and then in a and then in a single raise pot where I rivered a pair so I got the check back and he had king queen on the queen high board. And I almost bombed the river, which I probably would have if I didn't river a pair. But yeah, Rast was I was not happy to play with Rast. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a he's a real sick puppy. He is he is he's talented. He's also one of those guys that's like, you know, it's like a hybrid between old school, new school, yeah. kind of just gets it, figures things out quickly, and plays a lot of the biggest cash games in the world, like mixed games. But he also very, very confident. No limit holding. Uh, here, Role with the under the gun min raise, but roll. I, I, I always say Role, but I know that's, that's Ben Siki. That's my man right there. Ben knows what to do. Yeah, this one just, this one just goes in. No? Uh, I don't really know what's going on here. Seventy, you know, five big. Yeah, this one just goes in. Uh, 
I'm not sure. We got to check on our boy Ben here. There it is. Really fun, fun tournament today and tomorrow at WSOP. By the way, let's we'll sweat this all in first, I guess. 3K6 max. Here we go. 3K6 max is going to be a good one. Queen, Queen, Queen. Queen, Queen suited. In the lead. No heart, sweat. Pretty, it looks almost too safe. I'm nervous for Ben here. Queen on the river. It is a five. King high. You never know when King high is going to be enough. Yeah. And then tomorrow they have the uh, 10K mystery bounty at the WSOP. That's going to be a fun one. I think. We saw how crazy the 1K mystery bounty is, which I did not play. Um, actually, because I was playing the Super Millions day two. Um, but yeah, 10K mystery bounty tomorrow will be fun. That is, a, that is definitely a fun tournament. Jack four, Jack five. Position powerful. Let's see if like, it just gets to pick this up. Has a club as well as, uh, as played. Probably just out here. Got, I know, just not worried if it gets resistance to slow down. That's a nice site. Your short stack again. The game sort of catering more towards some limp or some short stack raising with not just premiums. And as it turns out here, he is inviting action for one of the hands. Mm. We're gonna come along. Bad shape, and when you when you make a pair and hold them in this spot, you know there are hands here. You're definitely talking yourself into the beating. We'll be at the WSOP this year for a limited time, but can't miss the WSOP, man. Also partnered with GG, right? Can't miss it's just too much, too much powerful, too much energy, too much goodness to not be there. And if you see me there, you guys are there, please say hello. You might even catch in. If you if you catch a dinner break and you see me, hop in. I, I got a lot of dinners I owe from these shows. So uh, <laughs> if I'll invite you in as well, if you're around and you happen to see me and it's dinner time, I'll, I'll treat you as well if you're there for a dinner break. And say hi. That's that's a that's a that's finding. So that would be. Uh, I, I told I need a sheet. I'm telling you, I, I got. I, I'm running up quite a tab on the dinners after about 40, 45 shows. Yeah. Are what's your record on? The, are you are you losing more than you're winning? I think I'm slightly winning, but you know, at some point, it's just it's, it's a lot of dinners, a lot of food yeah. and calories. Talking, <laughs> a lot of action, but yeah, this is uh, Queens Ace Four and this call. So Simon now it's a scary board, but still got to feel good. Queens, you're. SPR two third here. I mean, you're just you're just gotta. Not much else to do. So, oh, hey, poker's scary. It's not. This isn't like a fist. It's still a good spot, but it's like you know you could be in some real trouble. As it turns out, he's in great shape. It's one to come. Doesn't have to dodge a spade. Yeah, a lot of familiar faces. 72 already hit the thumbs up. We got 1,000 on right now, and he is going to get the hold there. So, nice, nice pick up. Both players played it well, I'd say. I mean, Mike made him go to the streets. And Simon milked it for what he could. Didn't get the last bit, but, but just enough, right? Sometimes it's better that way. If you, you, you care for what you wish for, you might be out the door. Um, and, yeah. This is, uh, Seven's in the muck. As your shortest, I will second shortest stack sevens under the gun, six handed. I'm gonna note that one. That is, I get it, I understand, but that I'm a little surprised there. A little That's surprised. Definitely close one. That's definitely a close one. Ten big blinds, sevens. You know, or no, sorry, I, more than sorry, but I yeah. Think, I think some of the considerations there too is like your seat and your position and how how you feel at the table. You know, you got Lucky Ming. A little less experience just based off results from what we've seen. And then Barry Mary, same thing. I don't know. Maybe he's just like, look, I like my seat. I 
feel like I'm gonna be it'll be on my terms. I don't want to play a hand out of position. I I got position on next shortest stack. Ben, who's in Mike, who's gonna be opening light. Maybe I find some rejams, uh, open you know jam on opens, and I'm just gonna pick a better spot than under the gun six handed, going for a raise or an all in. So interesting though, very interesting. That's the spot to look at. And Blum and Free in the chat laughing. I'll tell you what. It's a good lesson not to laugh but learn because I'll bet I'll take I'll take my man over uh, Blum and Fee in the chat for la for like a, a bad play. I'm, I can guarantee you his considerations are 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 strong and 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 has the the, the formula. My man is a one of the all time most winning crushers in online poker history. If not the yep. most, I mean, he's right there in the in the in the. You don't like you toss. Everyone loves the word goat nowadays, but. He's in there, right? That's one of the names. I think he's the. I think. I think he's pretty unanimously. Yeah. Uh, agreed on as the goat of online poker. Yes. So, yeah. like I said, that is a spot where I'm. In, I'm not like this. I am. I am, just like. Just yeah. Happy to play on. Ooh, a rocket. If you're one lucky, Ming is feeling it. You see, uh, so King Jack off one of those that's a candidate to go for the min raise off of uh, 12 bigs or so. Balance with the aces. Uh, yep, so we do see that from Darwin. King Jack off always seems to be that hand. And now from lucky Ming. I mean, I, I think we could see him go, like, three big blinds here. Yeah, just, like, or that's even a little big. Yeah. So not full big blind, but... All right, well. Still six-handed. It went quick, and then it slowed down. We are about an hour and 22 minutes in. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate you guys watching. 76 thumbs up, 1,000-plus on. We need that as part of the giveaway. Going to be given at the end of the stream. And we will do that. Now, we'll get the Twitters on my Jeff Gross Poker pin before you get that out. I've had, again, um, start getting that week. If you guys apologize. Didn't have that up today, but we will we'll get that up. I, I, man. Tell you what, you start having two kids. And uh, you got your, your my main man on the social team is has been down for the count for a couple of weeks. I've just been been fighting for air, but we will get more giveaways yeah. for you. And I think we got got more even got one more at least a hundred dollars for you guys in GG dollars today. I know a few pending winners, so I got to get that caught up because get that over to you guys. Well, so appreciate you guys tuning in. Appreciate that. Appreciate you guys watching and look at this threes. Down. Ace Jack. Lucky Ming is in a good position here. Tough hand to play, though. Tough hand to play. Certainly all makes a ton of sense. And here we go. Post flop poker has the spade. Got the gut shot. And tricky hand. Tricky hand to play. Kind of a weird one, right? You're either like way good or way, way not good a lot of the time. He is happens to be way good. I guess there's some hands too, like Jack Queen or you know, other pairs, eights or nines that you're just sort of behind. But he happens to be fairly ahead here. Let's see. That call makes sense. Yep. Seven innocuous doesn't seem to change much. It doesn't in this case, but still being out of position, tough to play. Ace Jack will go to Jack over six thirty in the middle, and Boyko with the decision now does he want to keep firing or slow it down? He's got a decent stack with the two shorties, right? Three short of the three other players short, and Ace Jack actually the winning hand now. Yeah. I think probably just check check or wow he even goes for a block, which is pretty nice I think actually, against exactly these types of hands like the the ace x that he's ahead of like ace nine ace five stuff like that. Yep, yep, yep. Boyko with the nine. Does he get? Could he ever get saucy here? I mean, I guess would would you gotta say, are you repping? What are you gonna? You just like, oh, I got you. No, I mean, what, you just just get out of the way. Nice play, nice bet. Lucky man, yeah. holding it down. The 
Stuhol. Got the second stack, 5.5, right up there battling with Watson. And two of the most experienced and actually your only players that have won the Super Million title in this table, from my records at least, that we are shown. Three seasons are your shortest two current stacks with six left. Simon with two titles, Ben with one. Very impressive resumes, though, on GP Poker. And uh, hands up. Are we going to do the hands up? Let's see if we have that. Or the jackpot. Well, there it is. Look at that. I mean, just ask and receive. EG is on point. They just put up the hands up. That is a progressive jackpot. You got to guess the winning specific hand and suits. Five of hearts, five of clubs. Ace of diamonds, king of diamonds. You got to guess the suits. Click the link. That is another giveaway. That is a giveaway number two available today. Confirmed. And that is a progressive jackpot that no one, I believe, has won. It's hard to guess the exact suit. I'm going to say jack of hearts, ten of hearts for today. That is there. There it is. Hands up in. Good luck to everyone in there. You gotta, you gotta click the link and make the guess in that Reddit forum. You can't just say it, think it, talk about it. You gotta, you gotta submit it. And we will wish you all luck there. The giveaway. Yeah. Pretty wide open here, A6 off. And I'll be honest, Lucky Ming's been fairly in order. He is now taking advantage of that stack and maybe a little bit of image. He's been he's been fairly in line. And Simon, this is a tough spot. I mean, lay a call. Yeah. I was gonna say I was gonna say it makes most sense for him to call, right? Yeah. I think because if you jam King Queen here, even though you don't have that many big blinds, um, you know, you're not folding out ace queen, you're not folding out ace, you know, anything that dominates you. And you're probably just making worse stuff fold. Like King Jack off and stuff. So I like the call and uh, pretty gin flop there for Darwin. Yeah. And are you are you just closing your eyes, hitting call, or is there ever you just decided your SPR that, that you're so short? That not because you're afraid, but because you don't want your action killed. Uh, is there any reason to raise, or would you just always call here with the King Queen? Maybe just think you got like a four I think, or a I think queen? With, Yeah, I think with this combo exactly, calling is nice. Because you block all of his value, like blocking the, you know, the king and the queen. Uh, when you raise, it's kind of tough for you to get called now. Um, yeah, on the ten of clubs here, definitely just, just jam, I guess. Never, you don't go like three, leave yourself a little. It's just no point. Yeah, I mean, jam, 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 and probably leave yourself a little bit back. Just, you know, with that jam. Goes for the trap, and I wonder if uh, Lucky Ming is going to take the bait here. He has a really good candidate. I mean, he does have a diamond in his hand, but nope. Just, just, uh, he doesn't just... have a diamond. No, yeah, that's why. Yeah, he doesn't have a diamond, so yeah. So interesting too, like the hand reading wise. That's not. Yeah, I think like, Diamond just kind of maybe just figuring out kind of exactly the kind of hand his opponent has, and I mean, he might figures maybe just doesn't get called by, you know. He's clean even or something like that, so he just decides to check and let his opponent bluff. But good recognition doesn't get the bait from yeah. uh, and, and nice, nice good play there by everyone and timing up to a million. Yep. And this would be a spot where you could rip it, right? Seven, eight, one point four. You got your you just your, there's two super short stacks. You got there's money. I like I like a rip. It might be too. It might be too weak. Yeah, I think you want to just go for the ISO because it's just too many big blinds. I think. Just uh, it's it's the right idea, I think. Like playing a lot of open jams here, just eight seven off exactly is I think too weak. Really? And you, and you think Watson with his stack, if it was, he would do that with his stack and spot, or is it? Just I think so. I, th I think the same idea with Watson. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, but it's the right idea. Yeah, I I'm curious on that too. What the cutoff would be? Two eighty versus. This one, Darwin's gonna. It's a really good spot. It's probably just gonna go. This actually might be a three way all in, because because he, he's been yeah he's been inducing off of this quarter stack, so he's gonna induce the queens. Um, and then Very Mary has a really good hand to rejam here. I think he should always just go all in here. I think. And then when he goes all in. Now I think Watson can actually fold Ted. And I think actually when I said it was a three-way all-in, 
it's just not because Watson. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think you will show a bold pick of uh, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think Jackson. We saw, him, we saw him get rid of the. We saw him get rid of the base key in a spot similar ish, less aggressive. Right, it was like a raise and a three button hit. Folded with the uh, base. Included, yeah, included because out. the problem here is he's basically dealing with two almost uncapped ranges. Darwin's range is completely uncapped, and Very Mary's range is almost uncapped. Like, he's going to be inducing aces, but he's probably going to be jamming kings here, or maybe not. But two, the point is two extremely strong ranges. Okay, he does put it in. I'm a little bit surprised by that. And now Matson is like, what the hell is going on here with queens? I mean, there's a chance that... I don't think he can fold here ever, right? It could just be ace king, ace king. It could be ace king and jacks. It could be jacks and tens. It could be, you know, all these types of. I don't think he can ever fold. All right. Yeah, I mean, whoa. I just, I, I, like, man, that would be, what a result that would be for Tens, too, to just get that, that yeah. queen out, like, the flip with extra money. And, and Simon, is he really, he's digging in here. He's thinking Ben short, there's an all in. Like, there's a thing, he's, he's, this is wild. I'm just spamming emojis. I don't know. I just I'm 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 shocked. Wow, he pulled it. Oh, shocked. he's gonna be he's gonna be he's gonna be sick when he sees the exact two hands he's up against. Yep. Oh, and just to rub it in. Well, there's still a sweat. Oh yeah. I say stuff. A lot of stuff actually. No. That, I know. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. No way he's going. No, that's that's that stuff. Ace. Yeah. What I mean, butterfly effect. You, you might as well just put butterfly effect in the poker dictionary right there. Tens calls. We would have had a knockout and well, not Simon with a, huge, uh, a really healthy stack. Instead, Watson takes a dent, and wow. And here we go. I mean, this is, I guess, not a lot of okay. chips, but Ace-5 going to shove. Ten will fall. Yep. And, uh, should be back healthy as well. Let's see if Ben can fade the face card as he is in a good situation. But as we know, there's no guarantees. But still, a million up for grabs in the middle. King pairs turn, dodging that 6.8%. Or so, and it is a double. Just, just like that, new game. Things change. Lucky Ming is your chip leader. Sir Watts with a little bit of a wild ride there on a few hands, and Simon must be scratching his head. And I'll tell you again, that's a man that's played a lot of poker. He knows what he's doing, and you know, um, I'm sure he's seen it. Knows the ice, all of it. There was a lot. He still has to hold there, even with that. That's like one of the best case scenarios. What? There's 20 of the equity, like. Flipping it. I don't know. I'm tight. I'm calling. I'm not saying I'm ISCM pro, but I'm going with that there. A six-handed queen in that action. Yeah, I would have. I would have called too. So, but, but I mean, again, Simon also probably a little more, is a little more comfortable in his ability. Maybe he's just like, gay. Hey, two all ins ahead of me. I don't. I, I'm not. I, I want. I don't put my money in flipping. Um, with that situation, tough. It, but it is it is it is tough to have too much of an edge for anyone when you have eight big blinds, you know. No, no, I'm kidding. I, I don't think that. Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, I'm not saying it's just like oh, I'm the I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on like good spots and like good great spots, but it's just like a that's a it's there's got to be there's some other math going on too with um you know folding there. You got to be like uh, you got to have some strong reasons. Fold, I'll say whatever that may be. The, he, there's, there's definitely that's not a standard fold, and he's a he's not a standard player. Like you said, maybe the best to do it. I don't know. Good to see the best. Yep. Fives. Benjamin gonna slow down. He's ten. Pretty comfortable. Talk to me about this. 300 versus 352. Does it matter? Is this similar if it's like all in, all in, all in? Is that the reason yeah. to do it? Does it really matter if you put 352 versus 300? Like, what's the difference in that? 
Or like I mean, basically, tips. the idea is you kind of want to commit. You want to basically commit the least amount of tips while still committing yourself to be all in against one person. If that makes sense. That way, if it does go all in, all in, all in, you save yourself the most possible money. But you still need to make it big enough that they can't just like defend the big blind against the four big blind open or something and then be able to fold. Like you need to have it be effectively an all in against one person. Got it. Yeah. I'm just gonna hear the different uh basically exactly of the spot and uh we're off and here we go again. More interesting hands and this is another under the gun versus big blind. Very similar actually, ASAX versus suited well, this time, almost the same, right? Suited queen-jack versus offsuit queen-queen. This time doesn't hit the hand. It'd be harder to win this. Yeah. Okay. Rips it in. Then same deuce three. But now you know Watson's lost a couple pots in a row, and yeah, and all of a sudden here we have uh, Lucky Ming with that with that chip lead. Wonder what Ben's gonna do here. The ace three off. Well, big blind it looks like. All right, he's 10 again. Lucky Ming, man. Is it his day? Maybe it's his day to get that Super Millions title. 5,100K blinds. Makes it easy to big blinds divide yeah. it by the stacks. You can see everyone relatively healthy other than Simon and Ben under with nine and five and a half blinds. Deuce is going to come in for a min raise. Very merry, very playable hand with the big blind, but also a tricky. You're one of those ones where if you might think, do I really want to get involved? King 10, get a little too good to fold, right? Even though Simon's super short, still take a peek. At the flop, deuces with the club. Not a lot of great flops for deuces without a set. This is actually one where he does have a club, and he is going to come in betting. And now, if you're very merry, you start thinking, what's a good card? I got to hit a nine, not a club, because he's dead. 118 on the flop, a flush. Let's get out of the way. Nice pickup for Mr. Watson. He is back to 4.6, getting playable hands. All right, eight nine Sorry. off in the big line. Queen Jack suited again. Mister Matson, not too many options now. Pretty nice hand to surf in, and actually no one really with the competitive spirit on this. One. Yep. Up seven and a half lines. Hard to make a pair, man. That's hard, though. Six-handed, no one's got a face card. 10-5, 3 off, 7-3 off. I think, I, I, how much different, like, when you watch the Super Millions, if you watch the final table versus, you know, how much do you think it helps to prepare for poker for final tables versus to use just for, in general, a strategy of poker? It is a different stage, right? It's a, it's a completely different game than open early stage, mid-stage sure. tournament. Uh, what, what, what takeaways do you take when you watch this? Um... I think a lot of the top players right now, they spend the majority of their time studying ICM and final tables because obviously when you're playing a final table, that's where all the money is. I mean, tournaments tend to be pretty top heavy. So you kind of have to ask yourself like, like Chip EV is where you get all the fundamentals down of you know post flop and how stuff works kind of. And it's obviously very important. Um, but I think you know, if if all if you were the best ICM player in the world, and completely terrible at chip EV, you would be crushing tournaments. Still, so I'll put it that way. All right, King Jack in a dump. Five point three players to chip up. There he is. He's almost tied again for the chip lead. Right back. Had a little adversity. A couple hands. Jacks are awarded here under the gun. Boyka min raise. Lucky Ming, playing solid. Lucky Ming has had a pretty good showing here. So it was 
I made a few moves, been aggressive, showed good discipline in spots. The team 10 suited, three bet, ran into jacks, checked down, checked hold instead of getting crazy and has sort of just held his ground. And Ben and Simon just can't really get it going, but they're still in six handed, always a threat. Anyone impress you so far? Anything that's been say, abnormal or just stands out today? Um, I think actually everyone's played really well, to be honest. I think, I mean, it's kind of the generic boring answer, but it's my genuine answer. I think everyone has played really well. I think Darwin folding the queens there was a little surprising. That's definitely what, whenever Darwin does something that, uh, and for the viewers, that's Matston. That's kind of what he's known as. Um, but whenever, whenever Simon does something that I wouldn't have done, I, I always take note of that and say, okay, what am I doing? Am I doing something wrong in this spot? Should I be, you know, perceiving this spot differently? So, I'm not saying like I'm the authority here at all. Uh, it's just uh, I was surprised personally, but it could be a good pull. Stevens also was interesting to look at, where he just opened muck and it was back. I think it was like 30 yeah, that and... that one I think was more standard though. Yeah, I think that one was more standard. Um, and the Queen's one was more head turning, I would say. I get it. I mean, look, you look you're looking down at Queen with the set all in and it's like lots of not like super appetizing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, case four, playable hands. Ben. Interesting, lucky. I also so open some ace to coughs. So maybe think he does he have some fold equity? Also, just serving better to call. Not going to get as many, not as ton of folds. Maybe just, yeah, go post flop. Try to try to outmaneuver a few flops that might, you might just be getting called all in on. But here we go. It's sort of, yeah, not, not the dream flop there. Got some trade. Uh, and then off. Probably can just jam. Yeah. Jack do suited folds, but I wonder what the cutoff would be. Yeah. No takers here for kings. Yeah. Jerry Mary finally wakes up. I haven't feel like I haven't seen much action from Barry Mary. I haven't got a lot of premium fighting. Yep. Oh, no, good job. Had that stretch, right? The double double. I think it was a uh, fair fight from Jack Stewart Ace 10 versus Ben Benjamin, and then got a, another double right after. Jack a double twice in a row. Other than that, I haven't seen too much play here. Wake have been fairly quiet as well. Hasn't really got too much going. Yeah, like you said, everyone, nothing like super stands out. And that is where we have it. It's been pretty much six-handed for a while. Everyone playing 330. Yep. Line's going up, though, so pretty much like the floodgate's probably about to open. A little bit of... Uh... Low run of cards here for the past 10 15 minutes, but yeah, it's been a little quiet. But hey, that's how it goes in waves, things happen fast. I mean, Simon's down to 300. I mean, I guess that's the crazy part, right? Like, that's the thing, it's so hard to get spots and hands. And now you're looking, you're talking about queens to candid all in. Um, and now you got three big blinds, and your widow had been like second, third, and fifth. And so much experience, so much consideration, so much knowledge, and very close spot, of course. If you're folding queens, it shows you like jacks are probably definitely fold, right? So it's like he's like right on the cutoff there. And now even now, yeah. here we go, ace ten. Yeah, and he's course, gonna run into it here against Ben. Funny, he has three big blinds. Like how much how much room can he really leave himself? Because he goes for two big blinds. Ben. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Ben, the best of it. Ace queen, ace ten off. A good start for ace queen. Little action there, but actually doesn't you know change too it's much at all other than losing a card. And there it is. Ace queen is going to hold GG golf claps all around the D next golf clap. I mean, that is a staple emoji. Elke getting representation today as well. And there is five handed finally. Uh, Ben's going to be all in. I think uh, Watson's going to open, maybe. If not, he, then Ben's going to jam, but either way, Ben's going to be all in. So, yeah, Ben's going to re-jam here. Ming is going to call the ace queen. And we can get to four really quickly. Yeah, this is, uh, it's, this is uh, ace queen Ming for sure. going to be excited to play, but I guess you've got to worry a little bit about Watson. Oh, okay, yeah, Watson has to send off alarm bells, actually. And there it is. One time he's asking to take that. He knows he doesn't want to double this man up. Club for the sweat. Oh, nope. today no sweaty turns. We're not seeing a lot of sweat yeah. going on here. This is just a, a pure, clean, miracle river needed, and it's not happening today. Ming with Ace Queen showing us a clinic how to play it. Ace Queen knocks out two top tier players. The two Super Millions champions from today's final table over the seasons are out. We will have a new champion today. Season 2023 of the Super Million. So that's exciting. Lucky Ming hoping to do that. And Mr. Watson, so many accolades and earnings and resume, but looking for his first title as well. And anyone's game. Seven million, though, your favorite. Lucky Ming in the leaderboard in position. Jerry Mary, get out of line. Things have changed. Four handed, realizes Pi is the best hand and really hasn't been too active. Uh, so this should work. I mean, all right, we got to do the giveaway. Key word. It. Let's do uh, GG Poker, Michael, and then put your last GG Poker space goes off, J O Z O F F, and then your GG Poker username. This will be for $100. It is a jurisdiction that doesn't have it. Gift it to a friend, split it with a friend, do something. that and of course the hands up that was earlier active still there if you guys want to guess the winning hand combination i think i said jack of hearts ten of hearts today and that is it gg poker space joe's off yep i wonder if he can okay he calls and now very merry probably also gonna call i don't think squeezing is the play here Yeah, I don't think squeezing is the play. Oh, goes for the jam anyway. Wow, defense. Just lift it up. There's very merry, very aggressive. Okay. Could be. I'm not too sure about that one. Very aggressive. Four-handed payouts are large. A jumps are big. Second, going to get over a quarter mil. First, 335. Lots to play for. No deal available for millions. It's all or nothing. It is a leaderboard for the season as well on results. And there you go. GG Poker Space goes off. Space your GG Poker username or friends if you can't play in the jurisdiction. I hope my mic is any better. I hope so. I don't know. Nine suited top pair boy. So gotta gotta like it. Gotta like it. No one hold them hard to make pairs. We really haven't seen a lot of connectivity where coolers have happened. You know, where guys are hitting top pair, top pairs like each other yeah. kick. There's been a lot of just kind of whiffs, pretty clear, fine spots. I mean, there's, there's been some interesting, interesting hands, but again, very solid play. Not a lot of craziness. And, uh, yeah, so everyone's played pretty, pretty, pretty well. Lucky Ming trying to close this one out. Not going to be easy. Got a lot of, a lot of ability at this table. 
So if you're in Lucky Ming again, we're not as, not as familiar with myself, but has played solid. So definitely yeah, he's in, he's impressed me for sure. Yeah. Definitely impressed me. He's three suited. Flops the top pair. King nine gonna miss. Not too much. Although situationally knows there could be some light button spots. But not really one you want to be getting too out of line on. It's Right. Play Watson sort of constantly. I'd say, you know, Sir Watts is a guy that I don't want to say I think is by no means what I say. Would I perceive him as tight? I'm just saying he he could, he's definitely been active. I mean, he's been throwing some like three bets in, he's been opening a lot. He definitely feels like he's been going for it in a lot of spots. And, you know, he's uh, one of those guys who just knows working hard on his game, right? Generally, yeah, pretty up sure. to date on what's happening. He puts the time in. He studies. He, he, he's got good work ethic, discipline. And he's just kind of your consummate professional. So, again, him with four point seven right now. My money got to be on him. Feel pretty good about that. How are we doing on our dinner bet? Let's just get updated. It was a little bit quick and crazy. Yeah. And where I at? have. Uh, I think I have. I know I have Lucky Ming, and I know I have. Like, I think I might be about to go three zero on you, Jeff. To be honest, this might have to be. I might have to cash in all three in Vegas and and do like a super Nobu dinner or something and bankrupt you. It's, yeah, we. I mean, absolutely. That seems reasonable. We invite, invite the, yeah, for at least guests are involved. Invited after multiple. How about you want to do Carbone? I have a connect to Carbone. We get in any time we want. Get a big table. I'm I'm I love Carbone. Love Carbone. They got it in Miami. They got it in Vegas. Uh, New I'm York. In. Yeah. Have you heard of ZZ's? I think we talked about that. Do you know that club? Are you familiar with the, the Uh I think I've heard of it. I've never been. No, I've never been. Yeah, if you uh it's it, it's a member it's actually part so major food group, same as Carbone, the yeah. members club in Miami Sushi. They don't have it in, in um Vegas, but yeah, but uh, well I'm we'll see you in Vegas. We can we can cash in on those there, but there's yeah. the next time in Miami. You come to the hard rock a few times a year, right? And, yeah, I'll be there I'll be there in August. I'll be there in August. I'm gonna play the uh twenty five K and the fifty K. And uh, and maybe the main. Very nice. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a good time. Good, good. The Hard Rock's. I mean, South Florida's definitely got some great poker. Uh, exciting yeah. place to go. It's nice. Miami's on fire. It's great. Yeah, and, uh, we'll we'll be having it. But, but what do I? Who do I need? I need Watson here. So yeah, you have Watson. I'm not sure. I have Boyka. I have Boyka and Ming for sure. I don't remember who has Very Mary. Remember? I think I might have him. But I don't remember. I'm not positive. But I know for a fact I have Boyka and Ming. If if Fairy Mary wins, we'll cross that bridge. How about that? We'll go back and we'll we'll roll the tape back. No footage on it. Okay. Yeah. Anyone in the audience is confirmed. I've seen a lot of loyal faithful on all day long today. Appreciate that. If you guys want to step in, let us know if you know who has it. For you guys, I just gave you the hundred. That's on the giveaway. It's gonna be a hundred dollars today. So. Big old J J, Lucky Ming, no real taker here. Jax though, he's 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 he see, he feels the rearview mirror there with Watson. He's got position, but he's he sees him sort of lurking. Five million, at least three yeah. off. Did he just go for it here? Is this a full four-handed? He's just gotta go. Right yeah, he's out. covering. He's starting to gain a little bit of separation from Watson, so he can start opening pretty wide. Ace three off from the cutoff is not even out of the line. And then Ace Jack off here probably just has to jam, I think, for 20 bigs. I think the only play. Yeah, I'm making notes galore, man. This is uh this is interesting. He does, yeah, I guess this lucky Ming. Not not gonna go for that one. Not the ace three. He's not not really no no full equity there and just yeah. not the handy sides. I'm gonna I'm gonna get ooh, 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 ooh a lot yeah, going on here. I think calling is most standard. I don't. Oh, it goes through the race. Wow. Okay, that's so. He's. I wouldn't have done that. So. Well, 
Boyka going to take offense here? Does he just, I mean, he's got fold equity. Does he think, does he just rip it? Or just like, or just, I mean, you could see either way here. This is a weird spot. I think he's first asking himself how much wow. So he gets the job done against sixes, makes the dominating pair fold. Yeah. Pro spot for sixes. For Watts, making moves, making money. Six eight suited, gonna get stuffed on. Lucky Ming just saying, hey man, I'm chip leader. No, aren't I supposed to just get pulled? Doesn't this just don't I get to just win extra pots? But he's gotten resistance with some um, you know, yeah, pretty pretty standard stuff. And oh look at this. I saw something flash on the screen. It means it is time. It is time for a mini game. And let's play along with Sir Michael Watson opening the eights. Uh oh. This could be this could this could get spicy. Lucky Ming. Oh, there we go. Ooh, this okay. is a quite a hand. Let's let I like those off. You're in the you're in the live. WSB, take this one through us. What are we doing? All right, so pretty deep stack. Thing, nothing to do here except call. He goes for the what is that? Two point five x, and he flops a set. So now mm. things are better. And mm -hmm. now, like my dinner bet is suddenly, I'm losing a lot of dinner EV right now. Man. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to check, and he bets, what is that, a little bit over a quarter, so something like 30%, or not even 30%, like closer to 27, whatever, who cares. I think just calling, yeah, not really playing too many global raises here. It's nice, really, really nice that Watson... Uh, keeps his calling range protected and doesn't get too greedy with his sets and just go for the raise right away because doing that doesn't really support the overall strategy that he's trying to play. So by him having sets here that he's just going to call, he's really protected. Now this is great. Obviously, you lose to one combo of queen, or not one combo, but one hand, three combos of queens. Um, And so I think you just want to check call here and uh, allow him to bluff rivers. And that's. <laughs> wow. Wow. You, you, oh. Everything feels right. But now, I mean, the thing is, the thing is, I think personally, if Lucky Ming unloads the clip here, I, I might get talked into a full. I mean, you start talking about what bluffs does he have? Ace King off with the Ace of Diamonds. Um, yeah. Ace Jack off with the Ace of Diamonds. Like, does he, I mean, I don't know, though. Imagine, I guess but kings or aces might shove with the diamond. Do that? That's the thing. That's what I was about to say. Imagine you have kings with the diamond or aces with the diamond. Would you, like, I mean, how do you not value jam this river? Or at least value bet? He does just jams pretty quick. I mean, Ooh. oh, I think man. you just have to call. I think you just deep value. Like, I don't, yeah, you just have to call. What does he have? Ace four. Oh, oh. my God. That is so nasty. That oh, is so not like nasty. that. Lucky Ming. Wow, he has the eight. He needs the perfect, perfect straight wow. wheelbarrow there. He goes for it, and man, Lucky Ming, I, that was sick. I, I actually, no, I'm not gonna say. I think I have to. I'd have to. Yeah, you have to call, right? I just felt wrong, but like, I, I don't know. I, I man, he, he didn't think that. Gross. It's gross because it's like you just come to the conclusion. I think. I mean, Watson probably just thought like. I think the reason he didn't think that long is because you just really quickly come to the conclusion like. If he has aces with a diamond, kings with a diamond, he's going to value jam worth. If he's going to value jam worth, I literally have to call. That simple. So. Wow. That was a fun one, though. That was a fun one to sweat from uh, Watson's perspective. Wow. Wow. Lucky Ming. That was a bling bling lucky Ming hand yeah. right there. That was wild. And and man, Sir Watts gonna have to wait for that super million title. That was a nasty, nasty run out. And um Wow. 
Eight high flop. You know, I I'm a little surprised that he doesn't uh, hey, think about it. I guess they say think long, think wrong. And that was just, he just said, hey, I mean, I got eights in a three-bet pot, heads up. Guy's going to be putting pressure in, whatever. But, like, yeah, I mean, I guess the ace four suited combos you put in there, right? But that's not many. And then you got yeah. the flushes. That seems whatever. Call me Sally, right? Like, whatever. But uh, that was sick. I don't think he can fold. I just. Yeah, I have Barry Mary, I believe. That's what the audience is saying. But that could just be a, a, a loyal, faithful, someone who's helping for it. Me. Like, we can back it up if we need it. Anyway, it might not matter. I mean, look, 2.3 yeah. million versus. We can, we'll, we'll take a look. If he wins, then at the end, we'll go back and take a look. But, I mean, I I, I, I don't know. Looks It looks pretty, pretty good for me. I'm not trying to jinx myself. But it does look pretty good right now. Yeah, you're in. You're in. You're in for the Nobu. How's that Nobu pop up? Is it sold out? Is that the spot? Is that the go-to in the at the series? The nice one. Is there other restaurants in there? The, how is the new horseshoe? Give me the little rundown on the yeah. floor. I mean, I was there last year very briefly, and it would look cool. I know they rebranded it. They were doing a bunch of things. They learned sort of with the two rooms. And here we we'll hold that thought. Ace four king queen big moment. Possible cool. dinner sweat out the door if we can't find paint. Myself personally looking for a little bit of life, but. As it stands, Lucky Ming might be heads up with the doing it here, and it is not pink. It is not. It is a. It is a three. It is a heads up match on Boyka. Says GG Boyka, kind of closing his eyes. Never really to do too much oh. here. He heads up playing for a yeah. lot of money, and um, yeah, we're. And gonna I think I, I have I have both I have both of these guys, so <laughs> locked uh, it up. Really tough. Um, so we might have to do the uh, the Carbone or the Nobu now. I have to upgrade the do do a nice little get like you know yeah you get the, you get a nice dinner anyway it's just a matter of guests we're talking about bringing yeah okay a, okay so we could do like a table for eight get a good dinner but nice. um tell get, me get a group tell yeah. me how it is tell me how it is out there like the, on the floor any adjustments from the prior year any any tips yeah or... um so there's a new restaurant that I really like that they opened up I forget what it's called but it's by Martha Stewart it's uh it's right next you know where the crepe shop is on the Paris side um like when you're walking you, you know where that is it's right next to that um it's a really nice restaurant nice decor um i had dinner there last night had like uh steak tartare for an appetizer and then uh a nice little uh scallop scallop risotto which is good so pretty pretty good pretty good food yeah okay. um, what about yeah um what about what about like register? Ooh, Ace four suited five nine. Okay. Yeah, I think this is one where Lucky Ming can barrel if he wants, but it's just a frequencies thing, and you know, without a club in your hand, she check back sometimes. Does barrel, which is fine. Obviously, Ace four never folding. Spot first one. Induce. Yeah. If you, uh, so, who is your? Imagine we have like a table for like six at Carbone. Who is your dinner lineup? You have to build a lineup. Ooh. We could see if we could actually make it happen. Um, that's a good. Oh, like just like in the, like anyone in the whole entire world, just pick a. No, 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 no. I mean, like poker players. Oh, poker. I mean, yeah, poker. like like guys who like I guess people who could actually. You like know, at the WSOP or something. If I'm out there and like who's. Coming. Yeah, yeah, like at WSOP, like everyone's gonna be here. You know, who's your dinner lineup? <sighs> I mean, I'm just gonna go with my my court like so during like i'd say the 10 year stretch of like being there pretty much the whole time we'd always do like a end of the year wsop dinner brian rast antonio Sfandiari, glenn bb hillbilly you guys wouldn't know phil lock uh all american dave um who else we got uh i think I mean, some of these names you wouldn't know those are like the you might know even like the guy glenn bb 
probably wouldn't know, but like he's in the dinner. That's our guy. Like you know, comes out, plays the main. He actually got like twenty first last year. Amazing guy from Austin, pretty fun. And then uh, I don't know if that's five or six. David Wells as well. Not sure if you know yeah. him, but um, yeah, kind of. That's like our every year dinner, sort of like around the main event. We do like at least one dinner. It's hard. You, know, you say it, World Series, everyone's like, oh, we'll get dinners, do whatever. But then it's just chaos. People are busting. People are in different schedules, different events. Yeah. You have to like be, a, it's just funny, right? It's hard to actually like go and do up, meet up and do stuff at the World Series. So, yep. So, Boyka here has the nut against bad end of an open ender and a pair. Against the size, yeah, never can. Bold, obviously, this hand. And now it's even more of a cooler. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 10 jack, looking good. It's... Probably just goes jam call and then that's it. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, you're you're up there, pretty high up, right? Time, it's just like you've got a good hand to do it. And Boyka, I mean, he's gonna take this size with like drawing like nine x value and stuff. So yeah, it definitely just goes jam call. And now we got a heads up match. You got a real game. It's not over. I'll tell you what. Boyka definitely got some experience. You saw the results and the, the, the total earnings. Let's take a real quick overall. So Boyka is actually taking a look here on the side. Yeah, I mean, big, big difference in experience. Almost six million versus like not much results at all. Yeah. Ten jack seven. I mean, yeah. They're the big advantage I'd say, but experience wise, Boyka. Now it's pretty tight. This is definitely, uh, this is definitely, uh, this is not over for sure. And we will announce the winner. I'm gonna announce it very soon. Give you guys a chance to hit the thumbs up. That is part of the giveaway. That plus the GG Poker Space goes off space. Your GG Poker username. And um, Look at this, Jack Seven gonna pay it off here as Lucky Min gets that one. This Queen Five Six, Boyka. Queen eight, queen eight in the lead. I mean, Ming, 10 million, still the favorite. Yep. Still, again, lucky Ming, not easy to win. Still, I mean, this is close, right? The blinds, are, they got some playability here. Guys, let us know you're going to think, who do you think wins? Gets it done. Let's go one for lucky, two for Boyka. This could actually, I mean... Um... Boyka actually is a really good candidate to the hero call here, I think. So Ming's going to bet. Queen of Hearts is actually a good card to call with because if uh, if Lucky Ming has, like, probably doesn't want to be bluffing as much with the Queen of Hearts in his hand. Um, actually, when it goes check-check and stuff, it doesn't really matter as much. 
but for the most part, it still is a candidate hero call here. Um, but yeah, it does just pull. Yeah, there's a there's another look there. A look came in two point two seven. Maybe I was reading that wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. Two million two hundred seventy six thousand in earnings on GG Poker. So he he's got some game and he's played well. I'm not saying just like looking overall more experience for Boyka for sure. Yeah. But still, I mean, anyone who scored two million plus online poker is got he's played. He's put the time and effort in no matter what. And you can see his rank twenty twenty three already on the road. Yeah, this is this is this is anyone's game. Eleven million, five million, still, still. Anyone's game. Everyone knows two to one. Actually, I remember uh, last time I was on, I was talking about how I briefly mentioned that I was. Uh, Playing those 1K saddies on GG to uh, to the 10K main event, WSOP main event, and I had a 10 to 1 chip lead for the package twice and lost both. So I remember it like saying, "Definitely, I know no heads up lead is safe." But I finally won a 10K seat after many many tries. Yeah. Yes, I basically uh... bricked through the 1K saddies on GG. I've basically bricked the WSOP main event three times already. Wow. How, <laughs> how does it how does it work with uh, if you win? Can you win multiple? I forget. They've changed that. Yeah, you get you get uh, you get tournament dollars if you win the second one. So you'll get like because the package is for the 10k seat plus uh, a hotel room that's worth about 1k, and then you also get like another 1k in cash like credited to your GG account just for like travel expenses and stuff. So I think you get. Uh, 11k, I think, if you win the second seat, but it could be slightly off. But you got you get tournament dollars if you win the second seat. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna choose the winner here. Let me announce. I mean, it's, it could be over in any moment. Jack six is gonna go for the min race. Six nine in the big blind has a decision, and we are to a flop. Jack six here's the middle card. Heads up, so interesting. A lot of limping. Start seeing. And we are going to see a no one has a spade. No one has got a spade. Jack six, the best hand, six nine has nothing. Maybe a spot to take a chance, right? Got one of the worst, yeah. worst hands you could have. Take some sort of bet, but also just again, think maybe some showdown value as the hand played. I don't really think he thinks he has showdown value. It's just more like you can't bluff every single combo all. Of the time. No, no, I'm saying Jack Six thinks. Oh, Jack. Like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Jack Six. I'm saying yeah, he. Yeah. I think Lucky thinks that his opponent feels basically how he played. He's got some showdown value as it. As yeah. The hand okay. Value, fair so enough. I want to take a stab. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, but, but yes. High up in the range, you flop top here, your head's up. What up, Andres? Good to see a lot of new faces here. I'm going to, again, pick the winner, $100 up for grabs. Hit that thumbs up, plus type in the keyword. You see people tag it, GG, over space, goes off space, your name. We are going to announce it here very shortly. And we are there, 10 4 10 four, nine. Hard to get hands and heads up, clean seven off the computer hand. That is the dead middle in hands. Both of these are way below that. 10 4. All right, everyone got something there. A little something. Low straight draw, low end of it, plus bottom pair. And I'm going to prepare there. Yep. 
trips got to start feeling okay. I mean, there's straights available, but you got to ten. Opponents could yeah. have some some action that wants to go goes big over bet, showing a little bag of tricks over the pot size bet. Four nine. Lucky Min, can he finish it off? You think he gets it done? He's got the lead now, three to one. Yeah, I mean, most of the, I mean, probably. <laughs> He's more likely to finish it off than not. Um, yeah, I, I think so. He, he plays pretty well. Uh, really, I mean, you, you saw earlier, he was capable of bluffing. That hand where he got Watson, I mean, he was barreling off the ace four, you know. Um, so it, it's uh, definitely a capable opponent. For sure, no one, no one's got a, no one's got a lock here. But boy, Chris, those were cut out. Yep. Pretty big turn. Waka turns the combo draw, the nut flush draw, as well as wheel draw. Little Oof. does he know. Lucky Ming's got the flush already. Wouldn't be surprised to see Boyka raise here. Definitely at least call. Does just go for call. And then this could go, this could be it actually. This could go bet jam call. Because Ace of Hearts 5, what a combo to bluff, right? To bluff shove the river. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah 710 suited. Going to go for a bet here. And I mean, definitely, again, it is heads up, right? This is a this is a little different spot. He just decides against it. Good discipline there, okay. as we're gonna see if we can get a little closer, or is this gonna just be Lucky Ming's day? Take down one way or the other. We'll have a new Super Millions champion. No player here has won one ever. This is season 2023, two prior seasons, and we are in episode number 14 of the season. Of course, that leaderboard, the super rankings. Very much so available for someone to win. We saw Raw holding it down, still in the number one spot. We are. We are going to play. We're playing the winner. Yeah, we are playing at home. I see everyone getting in that giveaway. You can still hit the thumbs up. Still type in the GG Poker Space goes off space. Your username on GG. And 10 7 going to take it down. Boyka needs to get it going he is starting to get chipped down here 12.5 million to 3.6 ace 10 suited this is a one to start this is get it going lucky man going to be defending six seven almost surely just call and we see a flop ace 10 in the lead not much going here what is some of your heads up strategy if you feel like you're outclassed you get out chipped i mean are you just trying to push variance and gamble i mean, I mean yeah it, i think i think if if you're playing against someone who you you know is better and you know they're a better heads up player yeah i think you definitely want to push variants and you want to definitely play you know more all-ins pre-flop and and stuff like that play play draws more aggressively post-flop maybe and... but i don't think it's clear that one person one player here thinks the other one is better you know Or eight pair in the, in the lead again so hard to make a pair and no limit hold them yeah and it's it, just to throw it down nine five four million nothing i mean still actually the blinds relatively some playability 81 60. This is sort of that time when we do see this is generally towards uh, it's actually I'd say a little shorter than average to get to the heads up here, but as we see, it's never over till it's over. One double here, a little even and out could, could extend things, but at the moment, we are seeing a lucky Ming likelihood to take it down at home. Good luck to everyone in the giveaway. Really hope you enjoy it again. Mike Joseph joining us. For the third time on the Super Millions, wish him luck at the World Series with him out there. He's got the dinner locked up in our wager. We got still availability. Oh, the winning hand is interesting too. Did you make a guess? Did you, I don't know if you put it in the hands up or not, but did, did you put the uh, did 
guess of the winning hand today or no? Or just tell us what you think. What's your guess? Uh, hey, sorry. I, I just got like, kicked out of the Zoom. I'm back. So, uh, say okay. again? Uh, what's your guess? Winning winning hand today. What are the suits? Give me the exact card. Maybe. Come on. Look to the right. Let's go. Uh, here, hang on. Let's see if we can get my face back on the screen first. <laughs> You're on here. You're on this one. Oh, okay. All right. Um, winning hand. Let me say Jack 10 of diamonds. I like that. That, that hand has been coming up for me a lot recently. I'll say Jack 10 of diamonds. Wow, I said Jack 10 of hearts. Maybe you heard me say that. And went right, no, I, I didn't. I actually didn't. I didn't hear you say that. I, didn't I love it. We that. got coverage. We got, we got half the Jack 10 suited uh, versus the field. That's that's something. It yeah. feels powerful when it's unified. Let's see what see. Let's see if someone can win that jackpot. It's getting kind of crazy. I would think by now all the guesses. Sure, there's a lot of combinations, but you know, someone's gonna win it. Someone's it's a progressive. Every week it goes up that jackpot. So guys, check that out. The hands up link was pinned earlier. It's gonna be down yeah. for today. It's too late to guess for that, but. Uh, wow, do we see a flat? We saw Boy could do it earlier. Is this the time? Do you get sneaky here? Or just heads up. You know, you think you might just get someone to call and, and a better chance to get the money in uh, by raising a little bit, like a small raise, maybe exploitatively not go huge, but small, make it you know affordable. And put them in, but we'll see. Yeah, that we'll see. Small raise. Yeah. Wow. Kills the queen three off. I think he's just saying I'm getting such a good price. It'd be yeah, a pretty nice, good nice, nice exploitative sizing here. I mean, he got his guy hooked on now, five outs twice, and he's got the backdoor hearts with it, but still going to go for maybe small, big gam, and he goes small here, depending on a lot of rivers. And Ming, got to be gotta be thinking this is a little bit, you know, dicey, but hey, first part there, he hit the board, right? Queen three up, and look, it's an array. No help. Yeah. Now I think it just goes check, check. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, Lucky Ming could level himself thinking he's got, got the best hand. It's that SPR might get blocked on the river and he might level you know, himself. Here. Well, I was going to say just go like five, like bet really small on the turn. I was going to say even smaller than that. And then just check back all rivers aside from if you turn or if you river a two pair better. Um, I was gonna say you could just bet like 600, 700k on the turn and uh, just jam. Wet board. I mean, you gotta think yeah, it's just a great spot to get there, right? You got like 1.7, a huge pie if your opponent, you know, wow, wow. Oh, I mean, Boyka, I mean, Boyka is in, in a world of. Good shape at the moment. If he can fade, he does. And oh my goodness, lucky Ming. This match just got flipped on its head. Nice three bet sizing three flop. And he does get his opponent in there. A little bit, a bit of an unconventional. And uh, I'm going to announce the winner here shortly. But we got a game 9 million to 7 million all of a sudden. Boyka in the lead. Uh, wow. And he's not tilting. He's got tier one ace concluded. Is ace queen well i mean we, we i'm gonna announce the winner just in case uh just in case uh this is the I, it just feels like i mean this could get in right any second just a call though okay. yeah and i thought that was it i thought that could have just been all in so i did announce I had picked it, I rolled it, but six is ace queen. And as it turns out, lucky, fortunate he didn't just rip it because he would have got called and he would have lost. It looks like lost the flip, yes, would have lost in this particular scenario. So interesting, just call, I guess, enough playability. Do you like that, or would you think six is heads up just in this format, this, this back size, just go for a rip there? Um, Free flop, you saying? Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, what's the big blind? The big blind is uh, 160, right? Uh, I can't. Is that 180? Yeah, so 180. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, I think I think definitely just call is better. I think it's too many too many big blinds. Nice goes for the raise here. I mean, look on the queen king king. I like the flushes available. He's got the best best queen picker and decides there's more value that he gets called by than not. And interesting raise there. I mean, I like it, but not everyone's gonna find that. Kind of hard to get called though. I guess there are hands, right? Queen X, other queens, but that we did lose Mike again. Jack five suit seven nine. Well, if we don't get our friend Michael back, he is. I think he's had a little bit of difficulty internet wise. And he is going to pop back. And we are heads up. We're playing for a winner. Congrats to the winner there. Doors Poker, you got $100 GG coming away. Appreciate everyone in the audience who hit the thumbs up. Hope you're enjoying. Thousand on today watching. And we will be back for another Super Millions. I will play the main event. I'll be in Vegas at some point here. Again, I had a newborn, two month old. I got two boys now, four year old and two month old. Uh, it's been a bit, bit wild. Not, not time for just grinding in tournaments and live poker, but I miss it. I love it. And it's a pleasure to be here with you guys every week on the Super Millions. So thank you for being here. A lot of familiar faces and new ones as well. Enjoy the show. This is every Tuesday at 45 Eastern with myself and a very special guest. Kevin Martin's been on here as a host before, as well as uh, Noko and others. And really, it's a really great show. It's a treat to be here. I really, really do hope you enjoy as much as I try. The, the action, the players, the quality, the skill, the production. And it is a, it's a joy to be here. So thank you for being here. And let's see now. Lucky Ming, we're cut out behind in the flip. might just have lost Michael. He said he's got internet completely out. He's off his internet in a moment. And, uh, let's see. Listen, I've streamed so many hours of Twitch, I don't even know. Thousands of hours. I've, I've done a lot of shows by myself. It's nice to have him here for about two and a half hours. And if we got to call the winning hand on our own, we'll do it. We got all you with us. And Mike, Mike, you know, maybe he said to use the restroom. I don't know. His internet, you know, he said his, his internet's out. I did see a flicker earlier. I'm sure that's, he'll, uh, he'll be out. We'll try to get back on one more time. But either way, we've got the winner announced, and we are here. And this could be trouble for Lucky Ming. Maybe a diamond barrels it off or so. And 8 4 just loving his hand. The ace comes off. Scare card 4 8 with the boat. Doesn't even just have the eight. It's got the house. Flop the house. Heads up with the opponent bluffing at you. And you know, do you put pressure on the four here? Do you shell and then maybe shell off if the diamond comes bluffing? Let's see. I mean, it's not to have to. You also got to I beat some hands, but those twice. And if your boy could call, close your eyes to check. And, uh, what a spot. The tables have turned. <laughs> tables have turned in the six of diamonds. And this is one of those ones where you really could get a... You could just go for it. But then it's $3 million, You bet $2 million, You bet $1.8. You go over bet. You know, rip it. You, you put... No. You just check back. I guess you decide that they can high. Don't really beat much now. The problem is if you let a four show down there, but other than that, you just buy white flag with this one you move right into a house. So two streaks, slow it down. Like we're going to Ben Raleigh. Hey Raleigh, I suck. I've done a lot of calls, coaching. Well, programs, again, a lot of good programs out there, but I do work with Raise Your Edge, and that has been the course. He is the founder, the CEO, all the above, and uh, always a pleasure to watch Ben play. Well, he's on Twitch, does a lot. His community, and uh, yeah, when I was in my peak active a few years ago, for streaming content, that was uh, one I would lean on and use for guidance. Highly recommended. Give that a check out if you guys can. And here we go. King Fort. Jack Deuce, both players of the pair. No one will hold them hard to do. Four weeks. But check. Jack Deuce with the spade. Does he want to bet twice? Maybe price the river. No, he checks. Now King Four, not the most welcome card. Lose to Jack. Lose to Asex. Lose to spades. King X kicker, probably not worried about that. So maybe a smallish bet here. But uh, it's also check. Small bet.
Winner. 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 Tables turn almost a, at 12 million to 4.3, right? So almost is reverse 3 to 1 now. It does happen fast. Goes off is. Yeah. Internet back, but appreciate him being on today. This just ended up being about about average two and a half hour show we got going right now. I'd say three hours is long. Kind of like middle middle east for the longer side. Appreciate you being here the whole time. Welcome. Giveaways. Each show, at least a fifty dollar or hundred. Got the hands up jackpot giveaway as well. Usually a Twitter pinned tweet. Jeff goes poker, but today didn't get it out. Five nine nine four. Everyone with top pair except the top and bottom missionary, the Boyka uh, King. May not even that kind of looks bricky, right? I mean, it's you go ahead top pair on the flop. It's heads up, maybe a bet, and then check back to get called here and check back a lot of rivers. I think it's a good way to do it, not get any streets. I guess you could check also, but I think we may see the, the check raise here. A million one point three. You might maybe get enough hand. There's, there's a lot of hands that. Have some equity to pick up the king, even you might stack them. Yeah, 1.4. And take it down. Three, six, fours. And taking some notes, this heads up battle has been interesting. Nines to ace eight. This is actually a favorable spot. Ming might be able to get this all in in, in, a, in a good spot here, right? Ace eight, stack size wise, what are we talking? 16, 17, blind. Yeah, I mean, gonna get, gonna get called and actually has the best of it. Um, Ace eight nines. Are we gonna back into another double and be close? Lucky Ming. Can he fade the river? Take this match to continue. And ooh, it looked like oh, I didn't. I just there's some some ace lookalikes today, and it wasn't. And that was that is the winner on the river. Very through the space ace gonna knock it down. Take it home, my man. Boyka, your winner. First time Super Millions winner. And a absolute pleasure to watch. Such an interesting, exciting final table. Some big names, big moments, as always here. And there's Mike Joseph. It's mystery. He's not on. He's not in. He's not there. He, he was here for the majority of the time. We lost the internet at the end. And again, we'll have another big guest, another big show. And I will be at the World Series Plains live. If you see me there, please say hello. I really do appreciate you guys watching. And from everyone at the DG team, the family, we appreciate you guys. Super Million Season 2023, Episode 14 in the books. See you 